PFG TV in. PFG TV. Holy shit. Me and Ann went old school, and we were texting back and forth all night long. It was Whoa. fantastic. It really was. Someone... Uh, Someone someone tweeted me, man. I read every fucking tweet, I, I, and I appreciate the tweets, and I can't get back to everyone, but you, you guys are turning me on to some good shit. Guy tweets me and goes, dude, the latest um, uh, version of PFG TV from our old friend Scorch that we used yeah. to work with many, many, many fucking years ago. Scorch. Up there he, was, at he was pizza. You were hamburgers. Yeah, but now we're starting to understand that maybe, even though we don't like Dave Douglas, yeah, that, that's... That Dave might have been on to something. I don't, I don't think it was. <laughs> I think officially we're going, you know what? He was on to something. I actually texted last night. I said, this isn't pizza or hamburger. This is a giant shit sandwich. Oh. <laughs> it was just so Bad. But he's like three seasons deep. Uh, so PFG TV, yeah. Hey, uh, this guy, PFG. guy tweets me and says that Scorch had this comedian on that bombed horribly. Wait, that which which one was the comedian? <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, <clears throat> wow. And he goes, it's 36 minutes into his latest uh, PFG TV. I go, why? Why fast forward thirty six minutes when you can watch the entire show? Yeah. Why, yeah. Wh why, why would you? Go, why would you sift through gold? To get to just another gold nugget. I mean, Scorch is the only show where you don't even fast forward through the commercials because no. they're Scorch sponsor breaks. Oh, that's what he calls them. Thank you. We're trying to remember. And, and for sponsor the break, and the camera goes in and out on right. him. He's like, whoa, sponsor break. It's like Wayne's World in 2011. <laughs> yeah, great. For the people that don't know, me and Ant, like I said, we worked with Scorch for maybe, I don't even know, less than a year at AF. <laughs> that's he's, all it was? He's an old school rock, uh, rock DJ, and now he's got like this TV show, sort of. I think he... I think he pays for the TV show. He That's buys correct. time like an infomercial. That's correct. On a local channel. One of the My Networks in New yeah. Hampshire. Right. And then he, I, I guess he's, he goes into some studio that uh, is supplied. It's got to be some kind of local access studio. Yeah, local in access town. studio. Because there are, there are TV screens and stuff. Yeah, the place looks great. And, and he has facilities, I guess, for editing and things like that. Right. Uh, and, and his look is bizarre because I, I was telling Ann, he's a guy that doesn't have to be bald but decides I, I look better bald. Yeah. And then, so he's completely bald, shaved, shaved right down head. to the skin, and then grows that weird beard where the, where the beard just starts. and You know what I mean? Yeah, the it, sideburns. It's, it's not attached to anything. It goes from sideburns to beard and then just stops at the top of the sideburns right. because he shaves his head. And if that's not good enough, then he's decided he wants to bring back the turtleneck. Oh he, that yeah oh yeah he loves turtlenecks and he sweaters. wants to bring it back for the young people yeah young yeah because we learned the old people like uh, Tom Brokaw had one on the other day on TV and Ant said it it's to cover up the fucking the uh, turkey gobble, neck gobble neck I didn't know that that's why the older guys wear the turtleneck he's sporting a fucking crazy Eddie look because <laughs> he's got the turtleneck but then he wears this blazer over it and uh, it's it's a bizarre look you ask him though. And there is nobody who dresses as well as he does, if you ask him. Now, I didn't uh, look close enough. Would there have been dog hair? <laughs> Certainly. And dog urine smell <laughs> all over those clothes? Well, like, it wasn't smell o vision I, but I think we... <laughs> that was the rumor back at the old station. <laughs> one of these days... <laughs> one of these days, because we, we own this channel here. We, we should do... We have to play audio of the entire show. Because we were going back and forth like... Uh, oh, it was just... Mystery Science Theater there, just fucking laughing our asses off and, and, and texting each other. Because it's hard to explain, because it's, it's nothing over-the-top funny. But when you, when you understand Scorch's mindset, it makes it... One of the funniest things you could watch. Yeah, it sounds like a good ten o'clock hour activity. At oh some my point. god! Yeah, he he thought he thought for sure that he was Johnny Carson. Right. Yeah. And well, thinks reincarnated. Well, thinks. Yeah. Well, I told Ann he has the confidence thinks. of Mick Jagger. Yeah. With none of the skills <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah. 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 But to back he is up. a confident man. But he knows how to broadcast, so he's not stumbling around. He right. actually knows what he's doing. He knows how to. Put a TV show together or a radio show together, but there's no substance. But to he's it. presenting nothing, right? And most of the things was him plugging stuff that was gonna happen on his show. That was gonna happen and doing live reads instead of doing it. Like right. he, it took 12 <laughs> minutes to actually do something on his own TV show because he was too busy promoting what he was going to do. Yeah, and then he did the what is it called it again? The Scorch sponsored Scorch sponsor break. Scorch sponsor break. Where he talks about his his unbelievable sponsors for 10 minutes. One of his unbelievable sponsors, I was telling Anthony, and he was bragging about it, 
is a company that takes your old shitty laptop, oh, God, yeah. puts it back together, and then sells it for 99 bucks. <laughs> And then he's bragging that he's got one of these laptops. And I told him, <laughs> this laptop looks like it's from, like, 1998. There's yeah, no horrible. reason to brag about it. I love, I, I love reading on my monochrome screen. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, and then he's doing, uh, like, uh, commercials for eat, f uh, uh, eating, pl place to eat, restaurants and yeah. whatnot. And uh, uh, what was another one? He did. Well, he did the bar. Oh, the, the, the photo place, oh, the was photo hysterical. place. He's bragging about this sponsor that's uh, a photo place and bragging how this woman that owns the place takes pictures with a cell phone, and they look great. <laughs> so the photo place doesn't even have, like, actual cameras. It looks great. With the, with the, it takes, she takes it with the cell phone. It looks fantastic. It looks, looks just amazing. amazing. That's why you have to go there. It looks amazing. It's amazing. Like, well, what are you talking about? I'm going to be <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a cell phone. locked in my dog cage for right. uh, pause. <laughs> right. What is it? Pause for, pause for the cause. Pause for the cause. Boy, does he love to rhyme things. He does. He loves rhyming things. He's all about branding. He was rhyming, which, uh, which goes back like he, I kno see what he, he was knows rhyming. how to put shit together. Yeah, and then he's uh, what was the other fucking thing I want to say? Uh, oh, and then he's talking about his uh, pub crawl. He wanted to promote his pub. Oh crawl. yeah, the pub crawl. And then he wanted to show all the places they're doing the pub crawl. It was two bars. Did <laughs> anyone else pick up on that? The, the pub crawl. Two fucking bars for a pub. Two bars for the pub crawl. <laughs> I got. What was he? Uh, what was he? He rhymed something, and it was you might so. Have me on that. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see. I'm looking for it because it was a typical. Oh God. Uh, let's see. The uh, one guy that looked like Joey but a few. Oh, Scorch rhymes everything. Uh, did we ever? Uh, oh, okay. Inflation. Disintegration? Yeah. <laughs> inflation, dis they practice inflation disintegration. Right, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, inflation disintegration. And then he has a, uh, he has a comic on, oh. and that's why we're playing this today. And the comic, you know, I know the guy's trying, and, it, you know, he, oh, he's probably doing well locally. I don't know. I can't imagine that he is. But I'm the, Boston. Sorry. But the fact is, he had a horrendous set, and Scorch is laughing in the background, <laughs> and then Scorch now believes he's Johnny Carson and now has to invite the guy back to the couch to have a little chat. Like well, that's that only because he liked him. Yeah, that was Scorch's yeah, yeah. way to show approval. Like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring him to the couch. Yeah. Meanwhile, it was Scorch's way of just filling up more time. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> he's already done. <laughs> right. Anybody would have... He would have pulled over anyone on the couch. Yeah. But Johnny used to do that. Like, sometimes a comic, he would just wave, thank you, thank you, and they'd go behind the curtain and they were gone. And sometimes uh, they were so funny, and Johnny was laughing so hard, he'd be like, yeah, why don't you come over here and take a seat? And people would be, that was the, oh, my God, he just made another star. Yeah. yeah. Johnny Carson just created another star right. in that split second. Scorch <laughs> was thinking that's what he was doing. Yeah. He actually said, why don't you sit down and relax? Yeah. Like, sit down and relax here on the and, couch. And I want to know where he gets the crowd from. Ant uh, brought it up last night that he pumps up... Uh, oh, the the beginning. He he adds <sighs> he adds, adds sound to the sound crowd. Sound effects. He puts, like, crowd sound effects at the beginning of his show. To make it look like, holy shit. I said it was like fucking 1977, The Who, coming out for an encore. Yeah. But then throughout the show, you can tell there's not nearly... Yeah, because, like, throughout the show, when he gets a little applaud... Break, break, it's just kind of... And the crowd sounds like they don't want to be there. Well, he gives free pizza. Is that it? If you go to his it, TV it, show. I told Ed, it sounds like they're either being held hostage or it's like, I don't even know if he he is into this stuff, but it sounds like maybe it's his drug dealers or something. <laughs> like, they don't want to be there. I love Like, his... where does he get his crowd from? <laughs> well, are, are they sort of friends? Uh, I love he also we didn't need the visual picture of Scorch's nippies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, of course, uh, show of hands, did anybody on TV see that? <laughs> Trust me, the hands were up. Trust. Although they say that now. But you know what? They all, they're going to be emailing me later on saying, Scorch, you got those pictures of those nips? We want to see them. Anyhow, you all know Nick Carpinelli, right? Give it up for Nick, the man on the couch. The man on the couch. That's Nick Carpinelli. He is flying.
You know? What? It's supposed to be, okay, yesterday was like 50 degrees. It was oh, nice. Know. It was beautiful out. Yeah. Uh, today it was freezing. Yep. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 50 again. Yeah. And then through the rest of the week it's supposed to be above average temperatures. So we're going to have a lot of melting. And I'm kind of concerned oh. about those in the low lying areas. Oh, nice. Because there's, you know, nice. there's a lot of low lying there areas. There are a ton of low lying areas. Plus, a lot of our listeners uh, during the week, they live in gutters. <laughs> you know, so nice make sure what I'm talking about. I don't want the. I don't oh, want make the sure to if you're away. living in a gutter, cover yourself up nicely because you don't want to get wet and catch pneumonia. You know what I mean? Bad enough. Ah, we're all going to be sick next week. Yeah. Yeah. We're all be out scorch. sick. Well, Nick hosting the show again. Oh, his computer is now notes. covered with swabs. Anyhow, what a show today. I'm really psyched to have Dylan back on the show. Dylan is uh, Dylan Thompson's here. He is uh, uh, from this? the Children's can, 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 can Tumor Foundation. And he is. <laughs> you, can't, you can't intro a cancer kid by saying, I'm really psyched that Dylan's back. That he's back. He's not dead yet. Uh, I'm really <laughs> excited about it. You 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 save that for a comic or uh, someone with like some kind of special skill. I'm really that's, excited. That's that, his uh, credit. Uh, like uh, we're really excited to have Dylan here. He has cancer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Can, can you go back slightly? And, Listen and, to how he talks about the cancer. And kid. Also, really excited. Could be the What's worst thing you, for a foundation ever. For yeah. Because there's a. Uh, there's a lot of low lying there areas. There are a ton of low lying areas. Plus, a lot of our listeners uh, during the week, they uh, live in gutters. So, <laughs> you know, so just make sure. That's what I'm talking about. Ma. I don't want the, I don't want the make sure if you're living in a gutter, now. cover yourself up nicely because you don't want to get wet and catch pneumonia. You know what I mean? Bad enough, we're all going to be did sick. Did you do that on purpose? Week, oh, yeah, he did. Uh, well, I'll be You never know it's close to the show again, but I'll give you plenty of notice next time. <laughs> Sweet, that'd be good. <laughs> Anyhow, what a show today. I'm really psyched to have Dylan back on the show. Dylan is, uh, uh, Dylan Thompson's here. He is uh, uh, from the <laughs> The Rubbing Children's Tumor Foundation. <laughs> and Children's is Tumor uh, Foundation. From, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping I get this right. Neurofibromytosis or something. Like Neurofibro. Is that it? Neurofibromytosis? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. He's laughing. Yeah, and your mother wanted He's making cancer yeah, fun. My mother always did, so that's why she married one. <laughs> hey, I don't get that. Uh, anyhow, we're going to talk to Dylan. This is uh, his second trip on. And, uh, and yeah, I'm looking to him. Really cool young kid. And, uh, and he's a He's actually she's sharp as a tack. Uh, last time we had a foot smelling contest on the set, so uh, I don't know what's going to happen this time. Yeah. But I'm going to leave it I up to him. He's so a really smart kid. Soon. He can also, smell feet. The yeah. winner of the of the uh, laugh ride, the comedy fest. Uh, it's uh, Josh Condiment is here today as well. Give it up for Josh. I hate to see the losers. We're talk then. about <laughs> winning his comedy things. Also today. We have got the Scorch's PFG TV CD review. We're going to be doing the <laughs> press a uh, fist CD. Danny, can you pause that? <laughs> the, the CD review, me and I were talking about this, too. Oh. He picks a CD, and he describes the track for two minutes, and then plays 30 seconds of the track. Yeah, that's and, it. And then that's not good enough. Then he has to do it again for another track. Right. And do you think it's like it starts off with a great instrumental? It uh, sounds kind of like Tool. He goes, for a it, gets while. A, it gets a little Toolish. And, and, and make sure you listen to the lyrics. And, uh, do you think he's not getting these local bands to pay him to do that? Huh? Oh boy, he is looking around every corner. Oh no, I don't know for a fact, but who it does knows fit. What, he, what he's putting in his back pocket? It does fit Scorch's mo to uh, yeah. collect money and not to tell people about it who work for him. <laughs> that I mean, his 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 co-host slash sidekick was so pissed at everybody. <laughs> Syracuse. <laughs> so pissed. he just like took off on it, right? Well, yeah. For three months, he was like, "Don't worry, Polly. I'm sending out our tapes. Don't send out any tapes. Don't Polly send out any God. tapes now. I, I got this I, well in hand." <laughs> and then Polly would go to the bathroom and be like, "Sammy, don't tell Polly, but uh, I'm going to be up in New Hampshire in three months." <laughs> Why would he not let Polly try to get some? And then the no, day, no, no, no. <laughs> the day before. Scorch's last show, I got a call from Pauly, and I knew the next day was his last show, but Pauly didn't. I was like, hello? And he goes, Sam? I go, yeah. He's like, come on, we're going out drinking. <laughs> oh, shit. Because he had just found out it was Scorch's last show. Scorch's last show. And he had just not told Pauly. You're but, not along for the ride. <laughs> yeah. but but Scorch's got to go solo. But you're a shitty friend. You're not going to go drinking with a guy that just got fired. Well, I mean, well, that's I, the thing you're supposed to do. What you what what did you drink when uh, poor Paulie there was drowning his sorrows? Well, I mean, I would have Coca Colas until the calorie count got a little high. Then you switched to <laughs> seltzer. <laughs> Great, while he's like, "Fuck Scorch, man, <laughs> yeah. fuck his Scorch." And then he asked me, he was like, "Did he tell you?" 
And I had to be like, yeah, dude. Oh, shit. You had <laughs> to fess up? I knew that was coming. All right, yeah. Let's, let's get back to this. This is the, the big intro for PFG TV. And then we're going to play the comedian. And Oh, yeah. I don't know. We're trying to... We're trying to Give this justice because it, it, you got to <laughs> understand this. It's, it's one day it'll all come together for for the listeners because it's horrid. It's just well, Scorch will have a national show one day, and that's what it'll. All well, that's what he out. told oh, us yeah. last night. He goes, uh, uh, "Eventually, I'm going to pay you guys, meaning the crowd, right? Because the show's going to get so big, he's going to actually pay the people. You have to pay the crowd. And I'm thinking Oprah doesn't even pay her fucking crowd. Letterman and doesn't pay I think pay she's kind of big. Occasionally. She does give out cars. Yeah. Favorite thing. Hey, let me tell you something. Scorch's favorite thing. You things. get a slice of pizza. You get a slice of pizza. You get a slice of pizza. All right, I'm out of pizza. <laughs> yeah. Anyone got a couple of the bucks? We send uh, someone out for some pizza. <laughs> it takes money from the audience. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. The pizza never comes maybe, in. Maybe the audience the can chip in. Yeah. <laughs> and you get a laptop. Oh, $99 laptop. That's all I got. That's one. It. Oops, one. <laughs> Maybe you can uh, you can share. I don't and, know. And, and I'm having trouble booting it up. <laughs> Damn, I don't get that. <laughs> I, I don't get that. <laughs> ah, score. All right, let's hit this again. There. Yeah, what's the name of that band again that's on here tonight? I love them. I'm so glad to have them back. They have a new disc. We're going to be talking about that. Five Points is back in the house tonight. So. Look at him. He's just... So we have a lot of stuff it's going on. Letterman. Why don't we get into things with a segment that we yes. call Weird News? Oh, I forgot about Weird News. Well, okay, for starters, <laughs> police in Madison Heights, Michigan. So you learn something new every day on Scorch's BFG TV. Who would have known, every day. other than Dylan, of course, that there is a Madison Heights, Michigan? <laughs> Weird dude. Uh, they thought they'd Why never find that the that person up? that robbed several banks. <laughs> Madison Heights, Michigan. Why? Did you know Give that? The fuck. Did you know? You learned something new. Did you Madison know there was a Madison Heights, Michigan? Michigan? See, if no. it said like Manhattan, Michigan, or New York, Michigan, but the question yeah, yeah. is, did you know there was a Madison Heights, Michigan? No. Uh, Do you yes. know now? <laughs> no, I already forgot. <laughs> if there is, and thank you should but be you thank you. Learned Scorch. it from Scorch. Well, thank so. you, Scorch. Yeah, we teach here. And what does he say? That that we we stole bits from him. Yeah, he or, said or we share bits. He or said or you what? you guys and him kind of go back and forth with the bits. He takes a little from you. You take a little from him. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. We, t- we well, what did he give us? Uh, feels for meals. Feels for meals. He Kidding. says. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, it does rhyme. The the beauty is he has <laughs> no true. fucking idea oh, that and, we mock him. And you guys took douche dressing. <laughs> he has no well, idea we, we did mock take him. douche dressing. Well, I guess we did take that one. Sure. <laughs> because because we made, no, <laughs> yeah. we took it by making fun of it one day. Of but in his mind, that means we are doing his. Yeah, bit. They appreciate a good bit. <laughs> All right, back to the uh, weird news. Weird news. It's like weird science. Yeah, take a fucking 30 year old movie <laughs> theme. <laughs> you learn something new every day on Scorch's BFG TV. Who would have known? Other than Dylan, of course, that there is a Madison Heights, Michigan. Uh, they thought they'd never find the person that robbed several banks lately uh, because of the wrestling mask the person wore when they robbed the banks. They thought they wouldn't be able to find that person, but they did. How? You're asking yourself right now. You're saying how? No, no. About a block yeah. away from the last bank the person robbed, they found the mask laying on the street. Wrapped in the mask was some of the money and the gun. So at that point, police figured out it must have been a man and not a woman. Of course, that made it easy, or it made it easy because inside the mask, was the guy's driver's license with his current address. <laughs> That's weird. He's weird in trouble. News. I like the punchline at the end. Folks in Windsor, yeah. Ontario. In beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Windsor, Ontario. I was offered a job. I was offered a job, <laughs> offered a job, offered a offered a job at CIMX in Windsor, Ontario. A long time. <laughs> I, I really, a great alternative of course he was. True. Not as good as... Our radio station, Rock 101, <laughs> www.rock101fm.com. <laughs> Holy mother. Now, Jessica, nice. who's our announcer, has commercial-free middays uh, starting uh, starting in just a couple of days. Whoa! <laughs> hey, they're not too hey, happy the Windsor, Ontario <laughs> folks. Uh, 80-year-old Jim Masson yeah. bought the rights to have parts of a baseball park named after him. Have you heard the story yet? No, I Has anybody not. heard about Why the story? Have heard? Uh, hey, he uh, donated 55 weird. grand hey, to get the scoreboard <laughs> clock named after him. Normally, that would be a good thing, 55 grand named the clock. In this case, it's not because it turns out Mr. Masson is a convicted sex offender. 
Oh. Involving three men he apparently did inappropriate things. He apparently did inappropriate things with. And that's why they do have background checks to check people's background, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> God. I know what yeah, you mean. It's amazing. I heard this guy's favorite tune is Take Me Out to the <clears throat> Ball Game. So, Listen to them laugh. What do you think? It's a laugh track? Thank you. And finally, a man, this is a great one, too. A so man it's better when there's a two. Business in the he's, Florida he's Keys making it seem like the other two were great. It's always better when going. there's a laugh Actually, track, and then you can hear the audience booing yeah. behind the laugh track. I was distracted watching porn <laughs> on one of the company computers. Remember when, uh, when Doc went into the uh, radio studio the other day and you were looking at porn? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what Doc was doing in the building in the overnights, I don't know, but that's okay. Uh, not only was he what? looking at porn Doc. on the company computers, but his pants were down and he was what we call... <clears throat> Taking care of business. Oh. Taking care of business. Now he's facing burglary <laughs> charges. Uh, break and entering charges is... as well. So these guys got some I'm hypnotized. Yeah, key holders. Yeah, so that's great great job. And I guess you can say <laughs> the job. cops uh, caught this guy. You've heard of caught, uh, getting caught red-handed. This guy was caught oh. red glended. <laughs> and that, my friends, is today's oh, installment of Weird News. <laughs> He wrote that joke down. You know, I was just thinking. Well, you guys, five point. We're gonna well, have Jessica saying that uh, he, you know, says, "Did you hear about this one? Did you hear about this one?" For a second, I said, "He." I said to myself, "He probably like watches Leno and Letterman and takes notes." But that's not what Scorch does. Scorch watches Leno and Letterman with people, and he goes, and he says, in all seriousness. You know, and he starts criticizing what they do. We're actually a better show than this show. <laughs> oh, really? I'm sure of it. Yeah, We're yeah. We're actually a better show. I, I heard that monologue. Weird News is actually better than that monologue. You know, Weird News, and we got the theme song. <laughs> yeah. Weird News. We have segments <laughs> and stuff. We're actually a better show than this show. And I throw up my little jokes after <laughs> reading the Weird News. Yeah. Dude. It's a little song. Dude. Red Glanded. Red Glanded. Get it? And, th and then he moves on to a local band and interviews them. And the local band is all like middle-aged guys. Middle-aged. Middle -aged. They I, are I said, hey, one of the guys got to be a grandfather. <laughs> and, they're, yeah. and they're still trying to make it. They one could. guy was wearing a shirt that said the rat on it because, you know, the rat from Boston uh, that has been closed for, for how long? I don't even I, know. Like, like, hey, don't mention the competition. And yeah. I know, hey, wait a minute. I think it closed like the first year we were up in Boston. Yeah. So 95, <laughs> I, I'm guessing. Yeah, and, and I know this guy probably played the grand opening of the place. He was a, a, a grandfather. Right. Retro. And then... And then the yeah. lead singer looks like just a regular guy. He looked like every guy I saw on every job site. A steam fitter, a right, plumber. Right, right. Doesn't uh, look like he should be whatever. a rock band. Not a rocker. And then you got a guy that's sort of trying to look hip, but he doesn't look hip. And then then they say that their drummer's from Godsmack. <laughs> and Scorch doesn't call him out on it. No. Because we kind of know God, well, God Scorch Why would Scorch call him out? Well, Scorch like, likes that guy them. never was. Maybe he was in Godsmack one day because somebody loves was sick. embellishment yeah. of people's Scorch, achievements, especially himself. Right. Scorch likes the idea of people watching his show and thinking the drummer from Godsmack is on his couch. Right. And yeah. Then, and then it was just sad because the band is talking about how they're making another CD and they're hoping to to, to make it. They're going to make it. And, and make then it. Later on in the show, they played like a ten minute. Song that was like kind of spinal tapish slash uh, yeah, as, any any kind of band you you'll see locally. That's what yeah, as as you put it, it was spinal tap meets any shitty local band. Right, right. Uh, and and it was like an it was. opus. It turned into some opus where the, yeah. the regular guy that you've seen a million times on the job site ha was trying to show the world that he has a, a tortured soul as Angst he's singing and stuff. Yeah, man. Well, Scorch has seen people come from nothing and become world famous. Do you guys know? He told me this. So oh. he, I wish he was in here today. He got Triple H into pro wrestling. You know what? I was going to ask Triple H that Friday. Oh, my God. And then William H. Macy showed up a little early. And I I'm got like, him Fuck. ejecting. Yeah. That, was, that was me. Yeah, but he, that, that's when Scorch was Vito Carlucci. Yeah, he said that he brought Triple H into the wrestling. And China. Game. And China, too, huh? Yeah, both of them. Anyway. Um, he sure does. <laughs> Embellish. Finally, we get to. The, I don't know. Finally, we get to the point why we're talking about PFG TV oh, yeah. today. Thanks to that guy that tweeted me. So he had this uh, comedian on. So you got to hear this comedian. You just got it. It's just oh, not oh, bad. Oh. Not bad. You're scorching introducing the comedian. Uh, this is comedian Josh Condelman on Scorch's PFG TV. Yeah, Scorch's PFG TV branding. 
Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Scorch. Thank you. It's good to be here uh, with someone who else who is bald and whose name is a verb. So that's very exciting. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing. Well, something. There was one laugh I heard. Yes, yeah, Scorch laughs through this whole thing, by the way. Just listen to, uh, 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 because this guy. Because it's his reputation. Yeah, yeah. He's got to have a funny comic on his late night TV show. Oh, yeah. On my late night show, I got to have a comic, I got to have a band, I got to do everything. And in Scorch's head, if the audience hears Scorch laughing, they'll think it's funny. Right. Because whatever Scorch right. does is, you know, gospel. But this guy, now, now mind you, there are, albeit a few, but there are people in this room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they give this comic nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> and, he, and he deserves and, nothing. And the comic is feeling it. Oh, yeah. He's comic, awful. I guess he's a teacher when he's not doing stand-up. Yeah. Really. And uh, he might be. Uh, he seems a we little. We don't know, though. He seems a little light in the loafers. We're not sure. From listening to him. Yeah. But that's important because Scorch doesn't really pick up on the fact that he might be. And he asks, Regis Philbin's this thing. Oh, he totally does. <laughs> and ask, ask him a, uh, a heterosexual yes. type question. But we don't know for sure. We don't know who does We really know. don't. But here's more of uh, Josh. I just know that if I ever adopted a child, I'd have no idea how to break the news to him. I'd probably have to go to Barnes & Noble and get a book called How to Tell Your Son He's Adopted and just leave it on the counter <laughs> till he found it on his own. <laughs> That's a joke? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, this is great. <laughs> Good you, one, buddy. Adopt. You, you're a PFG comic. I'll tell you that. Pretty effing great. Yes, pretty fucking great. <laughs> I, uh, I'm very open-minded, right? Try to love all sorts of people. That's one of my messages, right? That's what I try to instill in the kids. That's what I try to Man. say on stage. <laughs> uh, love all sorts of people. Here's the way I'm open-minded, everyone. Uh, I love lesbians, and not just for their work on film. True. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hope. Thank you. I hope I have a lesbian daughter. Not out there in the world now. Goodness, no. But when I have a daughter, on purpose, I hope that she is the lesbian kind. Because I feel like it would really cut the sex talk down to a more manageable length. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbian daughter, oh, right? We can all agree. Teen pregnancy pretty much off the table. <laughs> teen pregnancy! So it'd be yeah. kind of a one-sentence discussion, just like, hey, honey, have fun out there. <laughs> <laughs> You're living the dream. Make daddy proud. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> I'll tell you guys this before I uh, before I scoot. There's a story about the cutest kid in my class, and you're not supposed to pick a favorite, but some of those little jerks make it so easy to narrow it down, which I think is ethical. Cutest kid, smallest kid, only three and a half. All the other kids are four, four and a half, five, and he's got a very thick Mexican accent, which is very charming. So he comes up to me the day before Halloween, and he says to me, "Yosh." Because that's how you say Josh was a, with a very thick Mexican accent. The J's become wise. And I don't quibble because I like the arrangement the Mexican people and I have with burritos. And I don't want to jeopardize that in any way. So he says, Yosh. Burritos. And I say, Jess. Yeah, what that means. He goes, I'm going to be Batman. And I go, oh, you mean like when you grow up? And he goes, Jesus Cristo, no. <laughs> I mean like right now. Spanish. I am Bruce Wayne. But later, when they put on my outfit. And then I am Batman. I was like, oh, that's adorable. So the next day is Halloween. He comes in. He's wearing his Batman outfit, just flexing, happy as a clam or a bat or whatever. Till the middle of the day, where I just see him crouched by himself looking sad. I go, what's wrong, dude? And he stands up, and I can see that he'd wet his pants. And I go, oh, no, buddy. Did Batman have a little accident? And he goes, Jesus Cristo, no. Bruce Wayne peed in my outfit. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. It was a real, uh, real pleasure. Thanks. Thank you guys. Oh, yeah. That's great. Thanks. Have a seat, man. Relax. Uh, yeah. It's very cool. There it is. The, the, the invite over to the couch by Scorch right there. People, New Hampshire has a new seat, star. Man, relax. We're, we're almost done with this, but people are confused. This is a guy we used to work with uh, up there in Boston because they're just tuning in. Scorch. And yeah. now he does a TV show that is is so bad. He, he, he has a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah. But he has no... He has no awareness of of himself. It's in. No. It's on in New Hampshire, and it is also on in Syracuse. Right. Oh, but he pays well. for his own TV show. But he yeah. does. But he makes it sound like you know he was recruited to do TV now. Oh yeah, like he was called and, up. And what you just heard was a comic bombing, and then Scorch 
because now he wants to play the Johnny Carson role. He's inviting him to sit down on the couch because that's what Johnny used to do. I'm a star maker. I'm a star maker. <laughs> you guys should be careful as far as uh, how much you like this because yesterday in the mail, yeah, I just got the entire month of January, dude, of PFG TV. I'm not even joking. Kid. What? Burn me a copy. Holy I will. shit. I have to watch every I, show now. I have no, a source no. up there. Actually, just burn it. <laughs> just set uh, it on fire. Burning a copy, just burn it. Uh, yeah, I, I, need, I need a copy I'll burn uh, some of copies. That. Wow. All right, and here's, uh, here's Scorch um, asking the guy that uh, might be a little light in the low first. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. This is what he asked the comic. Did you, uh, and be honest about this, because sure. Lord knows I have. Do you ever look at one of the kid's parents and go, damn. You know, do you, just, do you ever see a MILF? <laughs> oh, do you ever see a MILF? Um, no comment? Can I go no comment? But, like, no comment? Oh, you know? yeah, okay. yeah, huh? <laughs> uh, see, get it? No comment. See. Scorch couldn't pick up on the fact that that lisp and talk that he has. And, and the, the fact way that that out of nowhere he brought up a joke about adopting a child. Yeah, adopting oh, a child, right. not having a child. Right, right. Loving everyone. Open-mindedness. Yes. Open-mindedness. Mm. Open-acidness. <laughs> It's, Not that we know one way or the other. You should ask them about filths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A Not milfs. Fi a hey, filth. Milf. Filth. A filth. <laughs> yeah, what are you into, filths? <laughs> Dilfs? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're, we're just about done, but Scorch talked to little Dylan. He was very excited that Dylan was back on his show. <laughs> well, yeah, Dylan was in promoting cancer. And, which is obviously horrible, but... Yes, but yeah. Scorch there's made a, it like... There's a way to deal with uh, cancer kids to try to maybe... Try to keep it light, but get the message out there. And I think Scorch missed missed that opportunity. Here. Dylan, <laughs> uh, this is our bell, Dylan Thompson of Scorch TV. Dylan, thank you, Dylan, Dylan Thompson, Dylan. Oh, man. Dylan. <laughs> hey, man, thank you, thank you, man. So what's going on, Dylan? What's happening, bro? You don't want to talk to me, huh? He's gonna be one of those ones we get. Uh, somebody's got to talk. So, Don, talk to us about Dylan. What's up with uh, What's up with him? What's going on? Uh, Dylan has a neural fibromatosis. It... Oh, I did get that. Right oh. Right. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, I don't like care what he has, but I got it. I pronounced it right. I he, think. He's patting himself on the back. Oh, I got it right. Oh, you yeah. know how horrific that is, Scorch. This any is one clue? Of, this is one of the lighthearted segments. Right. Any clue how horrific this <laughs> disease funny. is? Hey, uh, so what's up, Dylan? I'm dying. <laughs> All right, yeah. yeah. BFG. So is that comic. Did you see his act? Fibromatosis. It... Oh, I did get that right. Oh. Wow. <laughs> causes tumors to grow anywhere, anytime, and um, there's no predictable course and there is no cure. So the Children's Tumor Foundation um, uses the donations um, oh, for research and for family support. For family support, the Tuma. Yeah, the Tuma Foundation. And you're right, the worst name for a foundation. The Tumor Foundation. No, the Tumor Children's, children's Tumor yeah. Foundation. Yeah, Children's Tumor Foundation. The Children's Tumor Foundation. But Scorch is also using the moment when she says that this young child grows tumors randomly every place throughout his body and there is no cure. To giggle with the little kid as he's playing, you know. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he right. him giggling. He's not, yeah, paying, yeah. he's not paying attention no. to that point. You know, and then there was something in there. I'm playing a whack a tumor on the kid. <laughs> one pops up, I hit it down. Another one pops up, I whack that one down. <laughs> and then he used that opportunity to to, to snore, it sounded like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Also, like, making noises and stuff. Yeah, you, you, you're boring me. And then finally, the uh, the TV show ends. And, uh, you and know. Mercifully. He, He's kind of doing now. He's decided he's got to do the SNL thing and have everybody that was right, part right. of the show on stage as he closes the show. That's he's, the big. He's borrowing from a lot of different shows. Oh, he certainly is. But he's watching SNL. Go, you know, uh, our ending is a little better than that. I think. Our ending's <laughs> better because we so, actually talk a little more and you know yeah. interact with the people. Little personality. People like that. So, uh, <laughs> I'll be honest. The last hour of our show was a complete waste of time. What? And we should have just played this one clip I'm about to play. Oh, jeez. So it's hopefully, hype. hopefully you're still listening. Scorch decides he needs uh, Dylan, cancer cancer kid, oh, on his shoulders. Tumor kid. As he closes PFG TV. Yeah, tumor kid. Right. You know, where it, tumors pop up. Tumors grow on him. Throughout and, his entire body. And, yeah. and there's no cure. Right. And Scorch, being extremely clueless, says <laughs> this. Hey, 
like all of a sudden I got like this growth, this growth on my neck. I'm like, what the hell is this? That's my pal Dylan. Anyhow, you know, we, you know Dylan that grows tumors. <laughs> grows tumors. He had him on his shoulders. At the end, he had him on his shoulders with the rest of the crew. They're all around waving and everything, and Scorch is talking, and and he's got the tumor kit on his neck, and he says, all of a sudden I feel like I have a growth on my neck. Okay. All of a sudden, sensitive. I got like this growth, this growth on my neck. I'm like, what the hell is this? That's my pal Dylan. Anyhow, yeah, you know, yeah, we, that's my pal see, Dylan. See, yeah. Unfortunately growth. for Dylan, Dylan can't say that. No, no. Dylan's growth is tumors. It's true. Scorch. He called the tumor kid a tumor. Yeah, <laughs> and there's no cure for it. And they pop up anywhere. He's a little kid. But let's have <laughs> fun. Kid too. Let's have fun with it, even though I, we don't even know we're having fun with it. Oh, that's Scorch. Wow. Why did everybody look so surprised? <laughs> what, 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 what's the problem? Who said what now? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get that. Because it wasn't a joke. <laughs> yeah, no one else did either. <laughs> He's trying to be ironic. He's great. And humorless. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's good. It's a segment I like to call tumor humor. <laughs> tumor humor. He likes to rhyme. Tumor humor. Tumor humor. <laughs> I mean, Scorch. this is the same guy who uh, <laughs> pretended on the radio that, it, that, that this day is the anniversary of the jungle gym because he found a list of top ten people named Jim that he wanted to do so badly <laughs> yeah. and needed a reason. I'm gonna we're gonna play a game. It's called pants or cancer. <laughs> is it, I'm pants wearing or pants cancer. or do I have tumors on my leg? Pants or cancer? <laughs> Call up now. Ooh, looky, looky, Miss Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> looky, looky, Miss Cookie. That's, that's what he said when the phone rang, right? Yeah. No, when all three phone lines were ringing, <laughs> he got excited. <laughs> that meant all of our, all three of our phone lines were full. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he had a full house. Yeah, three people were three calling. Three people, all three phone lines lit. <laughs> looky, looky, Miss wow. Cookie. Brain cell stimulator work today. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, a <laughs> trivia question called the brain cell stimulator. Brain cell stimulator. I can learn from him. I, uh, did you ever see him mad? No, he. But he also. I mean, he lied to himself, so it's like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have to live in a shroud and of. Does he make money? No. <laughs> like, where, how does he live? Well, he makes enough money to get by. Yeah. How does he? Do Is he this? just renting? No, he, he makes like a low. Annual income, and then he, you know, he tricks people into giving him money on the side for stuff. Really? Like sponsors and stuff. He just pockets all that, I'm sure. <laughs> He's just wheeling and dealing? Yeah. <laughs> At one point, oh my God. At one point, um, we were in Syracuse. He was the morning guy in Syracuse on Rock 105, the dog. And between talk breaks during the songs, he goes, Yeah, I got a pretty sweet deal. I got a friend over at a Mexican restaurant. He's going to let me work in the kitchen off the books. <laughs> off the books. <laughs> That's what he's going to do in the afternoons, work in a Mexican restaurant in the kitchen. That's how I roll. <laughs> do you go, where do you guys work in the afternoons? That's how I roll. <laughs> do you guys work at a restaurant? Restaurant in the afternoons. That's what I, my, my, my second half of my, my day. I'd rather day. not say because I don't want to be you know made fun of by the listeners. He was a cashier at a tattoo parlor for a while. <laughs> <laughs> While he was, you know, a big radio disc jockey. Oh, uh, yeah. I know. We well, want a tattoo piercing. I know we <laughs> haven't done this justice, but we're going to keep trying because you. When yeah. you finally understand this whole Scorch world, I mean, it's just it's some Scorch of the is, most amazing stuff to it follow. It really is amazing. Scorch is the definition of long form. Like you, you got to stick in there for a while, but when yeah. you get it, you re he is he's you know he's the David Brent of radio. Oh yeah. Uh, oh my God, the yes. David Brent of radio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he really thinks a hundred percent. Yeah. Like because like he. He, he should be behind that desk on TV crying, but he, he, crying. Has, he has no idea. He's like listening to his tapes. He's like, I'm hilarious. He's making no money. He thinks at any moment he's going to get the big fucking gig. Yep. He thinks he's Johnny Carson when the comics come on. Right. Wow. He thinks yeah. he's like Carson Daly interviewing bands. And then he, then he does the SNL, SNL thing at the end. Yeah. And then he's doing punchline jokes like Leno and fucking Letterman. <laughs> he's got, he's got that sharp, that wit, that, that he, could, he could just improv. He could throw shit out. He's totally doing weird news. And then he's got lines for uh, the story. Yeah. And then he could break it down and go serious Red when he talks blended. to Tumor Kid. Yeah, right. Then he could do a serious segment, but still keep it light enough where. Keep it light enough you know, so people aren't uncomfortable. Doesn't get maudlin. But he's making everyone down. extremely uncomfortable oh, and not in a good way. He can't pull any of those things off that we've just mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> he is the host of the Afternoon Lumpination. What? What? 
That's what they call it. Rock 101 in Manchester. Calls their fans the Lumpa Nation. That's why he had to stop. Manch Vegas? Manch Vegas. That's why he had to stop doing Naked Militia. Because the station had already branded. Oh. Their fans are the Lumpa Nation. Why Lumpa? I don't know what it means. It's like Oompa Lumpa? I have no idea what it means. Well, when we used to work with them at AF, it was the Kingdom of Nakedness, right? Right. Yeah. And then it what, was... Wait, was it uh, Nude Radio? Wait, how, what? Naked Radio? How did he totally say totally nude? nude totally Nude Radio. Totally Nude Radio. <laughs> <laughs> the Kingdom of Nakedness. And I remember, I remember something else that happened, because he came on after us, and then like we would do production, we'd be yeah. around the station, we'd come in and say hi to Scorch, you know? <laughs> Back then, we were extremely motivated. And then all of a sudden... He, he gives the illusion that he's naked doing his radio <laughs> show. So then if you come in to say hi, he's like, oh, Opie and Anthony here. And they're nude, too. Yeah, I'm like, no, Scorch, we're not nude. They're all naked. We're not Everybody hanging naked. out with you nude. We just came in to say hi. Well, then he moved to Syracuse and he became the naked no one's militia. Nude. Naked militia because now we're going to stand up for our right to be naked. <laughs> right. <laughs> right By to the bear way, penis. The naked militia, uh, he believes that the o &A army came from one place. Naked militia. You guys heard about the naked militia and started the ONA he army. Didn't say that. He did, I swear. Yeah, we never had an ONA army. He said the ONA army. We never really did the army thing. No. Because that's kind of hack. Yeah, a lot of people I mean, have we done did our that. shit, but. But you had a militia. Naked militia. Naked militia. And he said that the reason for that was that when people are naked, everybody's equal. So how can you fight when everybody's naked? <laughs> <laughs> the right to scorch his listeners to bare ass shall not be infringed upon. <laughs> but yeah, he wasn't naked. Right. naked. naked militia. <laughs> and no. then guys are coming in just to say hi, and, and now we're naked. I'm like, we're not naked. I don't get that. <laughs> he used to brag about wearing Drakkar. <laughs> Drakkar. <laughs> He would wear a Drakkar. We don't want to give the impression that's that good. The ladies like it. Me and I don't want to give the impression that we're naked in front of all the guys. Scorch. <laughs> ladies like it. You, you guys did a naked uh, naked show or two with Scorch though in Boston, right? Yeah. Yeah. You totally, were nude a totally few times. Totally nude. Yeah. Totally yeah. nude. Why'd you guys take all your clothes off? <laughs> just like Scorch. Why would you yeah, want to Scorch, give that impression? Why, yeah. Why are you trying to paint that picture? <laughs> we don't have any clothes on. <laughs> no, we do. Scorch. Wow. I don't know. We're taking our pants off. You know what? It makes us fucking laugh our balls off. I don't know. That certainly does. We're very fond of Scorch. I, I hope he doesn't get the wrong I don't, impression. I don't have a lot of confidence in how we how we present Scorch yet. But I, you know what? Damn it. We're going to try again because... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to try I, again. I, I don't want to stop. Yeah. <sighs> It'll come across. I think there's some good stuff in there. but yeah, definitely. Look, there fucking was. Sam has tears in his eyes. He was tears in so. his eyes, I guess. I All love right. Scorch. All right. We'll take a break and we'll start our radio show. How's that sound? Yes. Doodly dude. iPad 2.0 coming out next week. That's what they're saying. Yeah. What what any uh any uh, line on what the new additions are going to be? Not not a new screen. Maybe they're saying like a 1 megapixel camera. Whoa. What? <laughs> they usually add more shit in than just like what you hear about before the Yeah, no, this yeah. Got, it's got to be something impressive cuz we're all loving our iPads, so why would we get rid of these so quickly? So it's got to be something. Probably be hard drive. What, what are they going to announce then? Maybe uh, probably next USB? Week. I don't Maybe think. USB? No. I don't think we'll USB see USB. USB would be nice. Why? USB would be nice. It would be nice, but I don't think we'll see it. Because then they're just building a computer. <laughs> yeah, they're going to... I'm in a laptop. It actually flips open now. <laughs> right. Uh, it comes with the standard Apple OS. <laughs> yeah. um, it's that the Apple hard drive. me. We were able to get everything down to tiny, and now they're like, no, we need big now. Yeah, they kind of... And then of... this is going to turn into a laptop, but it's like we always it's had the a, laptop. It's all fluid. Everything's in a in flux here. I'm very confused, but man, the fucking they know what they're doing. Yeah, bigger ball. All right, we'll talk about uh, maybe some Libya action. Gaddafi got some thoughts yeah. on that. I'm, I'm sure Libya's labias. We're gonna be doing <laughs> a show Libya or labia. He always, uh, we're gonna he hear always... uh, people screaming, and uh, is it from touching their uh, labia or getting shot in Libya? Scorch, <laughs> Scorch thinks of names like that. Oh, of course, but he, he never does. thinks of how the game would actually be played. Name first, game second. <laughs> then we'll figure out how we go. Yes, yeah. to to name then me. game. I'm gonna play name then game. <laughs> we're gonna come up with a name and then play the game. And look, I just did it again. It's then like the a game when we get back. Do they Paradox. Love, they love them at Rock 101. Cause I, that's, yeah, I mean, I that's a pretty big uh, rock station up there. A lot of morning shows have gone on to big things. From Name there. that game. Hey, Paradox or Paradox? Is it two doctors or is it some kind of space-time mix-up? <laughs> paradox or Paradox? <laughs> <laughs> you can do anything with Scorch. <laughs> we got Michikago and Doc Brown here. 
Paradox. <laughs> but it's also a paradox. Because what did they talk about? Well, what if you had two Doc Browns? Holy shit. <laughs> I don't get that. I don't understand. I don't, I don't get that. <laughs> then it'd be a paradox. I don't get that. <laughs> he once said that, I mean, he would go into what he was writing off his taxes. He said he wrote off $10,000 worth of toothpicks. <laughs> toothpicks, because well, he's always got a toothpick in his mouth. But then Paulie and me started doing the math, and $10,000 worth of toothpicks is an obscene amount of toothpicks. Uh, yeah, There's yeah, no yeah way. come on. It, it $10,000. probably fill up this entire studio. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. That's his thing. He has a toothpick in But we did. I do big. We do Carducci. I was watching when I was watching last night. I'm like, does he have a toothpick in his mouth? Yeah, that's like the whole lead. time. That's Maybe thing. I talk. I'm like Muggsy. Man, see, see, boss. <laughs> Man, I got a toothpick in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> When's the next one? Next, I mean, PFG TV's on every week. It is. Oh yeah, and there's now the website, right? We should plug the website for the people that do care enough to maybe see the visual. What is it? PFG. I dash, think it's dash, dash TV. It yeah. is dash, right? Dot yeah. com. PFG dash TV dot com, I guess. Okay. Greatest site ever. And I'll make you guys some uh, DVD copies. So maybe, oh, please. I mean, a PFG TV party in the big movie theater. Oh, my God. <laughs> I would love to just sit right. in the theater and do a festival. Yeah. Oh, God. oh, this guy wants to tell us about Lump Nation. Lump Nation. Or Lumpa. Lump Nation. Lump Nation. It's the afternoon Lump Nation with Scorch. John in uh, New Hampshire. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey brother. The uh, the the whole lumpa is basically your working guy, your working Joe, and it was uh, it's not even his. It's the the morning show that uh, is on his station and and the station on the Seacoast, which is both owned by Cheap Channel. Uh, Wait, he, does, he doesn't even do mornings. Is it like no, a lump afternoon. of shit? Oh. Like you're a lump of shit? You're a lump. Yep. And yep, they call much. it lumpa, lumpa yep. nation. You're, you're, you're a worker. You got this. This decals that get on. Their morning shows. You know, it's all right, but it's a you know, it's a, a, a couple of people. And then uh, no, he does afternoons and he sucks. He oh, don't sucks. say that about. We love the sports. Afternoons. I the think only... the I think the morning show on that station is like Greg in the Morning Buzz. Yeah, it is. That's, yeah. that's who it is. Yeah, and it's on both stations. And uh, they're in Portsmouth. He's in Manchester, and they you know they they're owned by the same company. Playing so tunes they... in afternoons. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> Playing the tunes in the afternoon. Yeah, but Scorch is only out of Manchester right now, but he is working on a lot of different markets. He'll be yeah. he'll be yeah, all he's... over the world very soon. Yeah, he told me. I think Sirius XM is going to hire him very soon. Well, that's, uh, I mean, he told me that. So a very contract, high so. level uh, contract. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, the merger slowed it down a little bit, yeah, but now yeah, that we're yeah. back on track, yeah, yeah, probably Scorch coming here soon on the virus. Yep. He's on in the afternoons, and uh, and uh, I'll tell you the reason why he's got people following him. He's got no competition. There's no <laughs> other stations in this area. We live in Manchester. What else is near here? Nothing. All right. That's it. He's carved out a little oh. niche for himself. <laughs> of course, Manchester's ah. near Boston. Thanks, brother. He told everybody in Syracuse he was going to Boston. Me. I'm right. going to Boston. So Scorch is... Uh... <laughs> Don't say Paul ever again. <laughs> You sure heard what he said when he was doing his little silly thing he does for his, his radio show? Oh, his show at 10. My show. He, he said cock ring today. Oh, shit. Sure. conquering. He said cock ring. You'll hear for yourself in the 10 o'clock hour. Really? I like that tease. Instead of oh, wow. Instead of conquering, he said cock ring. You don't say conquering? I said conquering. Say, is that cock ring? cock ring? He Thanks. says it's, cock it's ring. Here's There's PFG an TV and, and uh, Scorch making some threat, I guess, uh, All right. at two New York guys. Uh, they have uh, they have a lobster mac and cheese that she claims is award winning. But he has to do his restaurant thing still. He's, he's doing this a little is great. As a pl here it is. As a platinum sponsor, you'll have three live endorsements during the show. Plus, you'll have a link to your company on the TV show webpage. You'll get a spot on the Scorch uh, a PFG TV family tree, oh. and it'll be mentioned in our <laughs> shameless plugs segment. Great deal for the money. Your investment, $300 oh. per show. <laughs> per show? I'd rather be strange fruit on Billy Holiday's tree. <laughs> he, he's giving it away. That's a plot. What is... And that's the top, right? That's number one. <laughs> How much is a spot on that show? Uh. Can we sponsor a whole PFG TV? So oh, how great would that be? Three hundred bucks. Platinum is three hundred. all that bucks. per show. Gold is two hundred. Damn. You know what? And that's it. You, so you think he's just pocketing that money? He puts it in his pocket. <laughs> pocket money. He puts his pocket. He buys stuff with it. All right, listen. We gotta get this clip because Jackie the Joke Man's waiting down the hall. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Travis. How long is Jackie? Yeah, waiting? we gotta we gotta Did wrap he... this uh, segment up. How long is he? 
I mean, all right, here's PFG uh, TV. Did he get and, yogurt? And Scorch. Uh, Is there bowls? And Scorch uh, talking bowls. about us. Uh, they have uh, they have a lobster mac and cheese that she claims is oh. award winning. Awesome. So there you go. There'll, there will be lobster mac and cheese in the crowd soon from TJ Kelly. You know what? I want to gonna... dissect that ringing endorsement. She has lobster mac and cheese, which she claims is a, is, is award winning. Wow, only three hundred for that plug. That's fucking amazing. Well, uh, Scorch uh, is not going to say anything that's unfounded because he likes to make sure if he says something is factual, it is factual. Right. He says like, three hundred dollars for an endorsement to endorse something. You should believe in the product. We're right. not going to catch him in a lie, though. Is the thing about Scorch. Oh, oh no, shit! Never. You're right. Oh, yeah, so you, know what? you know what? I gotta make a correction. You said there's no way for us to know how many people are on all this stuff, man. But there is a way that we can tell how many people have downloaded the app. So how many oh, yeah. are there? Uh, we've got uh, 575,214 downloads of the app. So okay. That <laughs> is such horseshit. He's what? lying by 575,000. <laughs> He did not say 575,000. No 000. way. Well, Travis and me both downloaded that app since then. I downloaded so, yes, it too. The figure would be, okay, the figure's off by three then. Wouldn't, yeah, that, yeah. wouldn't, be that, wouldn't that be a top seller? Wouldn't oh, that, I mean, that would be a huge. That would be, that would be a huge app. A right? runaway success. Give me an app that does that well. I, I, Angry I wanted, Birds. <laughs> Angry yeah. Birds does as well as that. Maybe, Maybe not. Because Angry Bird. Angry Scorch. Plus, you'd think if he was uh, in the market of getting a... Uh, over f almost 600,000 apps out there, he'd at least throw a 99 cents or something on there. It's free. Oh, believe me, if he would were... be doing that. Yeah. Definitely. 1,214 downloads of the apps. Okay, so there you go. So a half a million people will know where to go just by a touch of a button on oh, what's liar. happening to teach us right? You know what? You know, I, I wish I had time to do something. Next week, I'm going to do something that I meant to do, uh, and I just don't have time tonight. It has to do with uh, some uh, a radio team in New York. So we're coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. We're coming at you. Coming so, at us. Uh, he had uh -oh. a little too much shit going on that day, so he had to, he had to wait. The he had a, he had a lie about everything. his app. <laughs> he had a lie about his app numbers. Yeah. yeah. So it's a zero rating on uh, on the app store. Well, it might have been canceled out. No, it, it's, not a, it's not a zero rating. It just has zero rating. <laughs> oh, it has zero rating. Yeah. Well, yeah. it has to take time to catch up. No like one YouTube. has rated it. No, all 500,000. Out of 575,000 no yeah. no downloads, one. Not, not one guy not one has rated, rated it. it. It's obvious why nobody's rated it. Because they've all been too busy on their apps to do anything else. Does on he get their everyone iPhone. on the same page to just lie through their teeth? Someone's saying here yeah, the app shows between 100 and 500 downloads. Is there a way to check that? No, you, you can't see how many times. No, not that I know. What do we got on Scorch? He's back. He's back and better than ever. Scorch PFG TV. I don't know where PFG I have a good TV. Of Scorch up on there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Scorch? <laughs> uh, we of course Scorch. We worked with him way back when up in Boston and. Uh, He's since gone on to do his own um, TV show. Well, he's a, it's a paid channel, and he pays for an nope. infomercial. He's a media mogul, sir. Oh, really? He's a media mogul. I'm and, actually... How did I miss that? I think he's on a different channel now that's less people. He's not on the My Channel anymore. That he was on what? the My Network in New Wait, Hampshire. Wait, he's not on My Network anymore? No. But that was his, like... He had how many networks? Well, how many affiliates? That's the problem. Like now, he's saying he's on a major. Like before, he's getting caught up in his lies because he has to lie about the new network. Let's bring everyone up to speed, though. So he does a local show in New Hampshire, a little morning mm, show, and now yeah. he decides he needs to be on TV as well. Yeah. So he what? Got a uh, public access show? Public access. He started show. with a public access show. Yeah. But yeah. what happened when he was in a bar? Yeah, well, that, didn't he start the show from the bar? That was once? the public access show. Right. right. He was in the bar. Right. That was the TV show in a bar. Yeah. In a bar. And then last we left the people with the PFG TV, he was in a really nice TV studio. Right. He started moving up the ranks of TV studios nice. and then up to my network. And then he kind of disappeared. Yeah. Remember, the last time we played a clip, it was when he said, I got something for those two people in New York, meaning you guys. Mm -hmm. Then he disappeared for a while. Oh, God. What happened right. to him? Now he came back. Except he's not in a TV studio anymore. Well, what happened to the TV studio? I don't know, but now he's back. He's in a bar. <laughs> but he's back. All right, wait. He's back in the bar. Yeah, he's in he's a bar. And he's not on the Mind TV network anymore? No, he's on. What happened there? Is he on the web now only? He, he is definitely on the web, and he appears to be on something called uh, Retro TV. Retro What's TV? Retro TV? I don't know, but I looked up the website, and they play, like, old TV shows. It right. seems like... 
they take public access channels and they put old TV shows on them. Because they, because no one's buying. Nobody's the time. watching it. Yeah. So is this a good move for him going back to the bar? Mm, no, well, I don't let's think see, so. But but I bet he spins it in a, a way where it's the best thing ever. He does have his opinions on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he 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 seems to prefer it there, but I wouldn't think career wise it makes a lot of sense. Uh huh. All uh-huh. right. Can we roll uh, this episode up on Apple TV just so we have a visual? It doesn't have. It doesn't have to match up with the audio. Uh, let's. It will though. See. Awful on both counts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get into this. Uh, Scorch. PFG TV. Jessica introduces what's coming up tonight on PFG TV. All right. Live from the PFG's television center at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro. The television wow. center. Wow. Yeah. The television wow. center at Michael's Pub in Pingsboro? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, wherever he goes, he says, what happened was, it's like a restaurant pub. <laughs> yeah. And there's a wall with a fireplace against it. And normally there'd be tables lined up for people to eat there. But instead, they cleared out like four tables. You know what? When you fucking have like a, a bar grill, a pub restaurant, fucking television studio has never been a part. No, of bar of bar is, pub. Is the is the fire at least real behind? Oh him? my I'm god! At the visual. The now. fire does appear to be a real fire. And when is he going to get a laptop from this century? He looks like a crazy evangelist. <laughs> well, <if> you <laughs> he notice does. he's back to using like the little. Uh, footstool for a table. Wait, he's sitting at a footstool in front of a yeah. fire. Oh my god, what happened to the TV studio? And why the horrible couch? What happened to the well, good couch And the graphics have? all behind him. Right. Nick, Nick Carpinelli, the guy on the couch, now appears to be the guy on the wicker love seat. Yeah, it's like <laughs> <laughs> that's outdoor patio furniture. All right, let's why is there a fire behind him? <laughs> I don't know. What is he doing? He's dressed like fucking Crazy Eddie. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Live from the PFG's television center at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro, it's Scorch's PFG TV, presented by the New England Subaru dealers. I'm Jessica, and tonight joining Scorch in the living room is Nivia from Loca Photo, doing a sponsor spotlight. We'll talk to pro wrestling historian and show regular Sheldon Goldberg. Plus, we'll do weird news, Sheldon the appetizer, Goldberg. info on how you can be on the show, and our special musical guests on the Auburn Pit stage, it's the Brooklyns. Now, give it up. Here's Scorch. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Welcome once again to another fabulous episode of Scorch's BFG TV. Let us go to the living room. Come on in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, you hear the applause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something I'm a little suspect of. Yeah, that's being piped in. Scorch has this uh, photographer that he had on the show. He let the photographer take pictures. He doesn't go to... He learned from us, I think, when we pointed out that there were only a very few people at his old bar shows. Yes. He stopped doing audience shots. However, the photographer took a picture of the audience, and now through the magic of Apple TV. Oh, we'll we'll get to it. I share with you. Oh my god. See, How come could, it sounded like Wow, they sound like there were hundreds of people uh, there. Yeah. You but, could see Scorch right there in the corner by the fireplace. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I'm gonna yeah. count for everybody. Two, no. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ten people you By the see. way, the people sitting at the bar, that's the band that's performing later. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so there are literally six, six people there to see Scorch. <laughs> yeah. And he six made it sound people. like there are hundreds. Can we hear the you applause hear, again? I gotta hear the applause again. Now that we know there are Six people there. <laughs> Fabulous episode of Scorch's BFG TV. Let us go to the living room. Come on in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he have a following where they would no. show up for this? No, he doesn't. No. Oh, this is depressing. He's in Manch Vegas. I mean, I wa- there's. I want to do his show. Although he did uh, announce. We, I said that. Let, I would road trip in a second to do this. He did announce that if you uh, tell people, if you tell the restaurant in advance that you're going to the PFG taping, uh, you'll give free appetizer while you watch the show. I, that's oh, not bad. Oh, boy. What kind of appetizers? I mean, probably, you know, definitely mozzarella sticks, something yeah. like that. What about a, some of that calamar? Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is, you know, this is New Hampshire. This is. Manch Vegas, after all. And what happens in uh, Manch Vegas? Stays in Manch Vegas. Exactly. That's right. Especially broadcasts. Yeah. <laughs> it should. Would you do, you would do BFG TV? In a second. Because <laughs> he does have comedians I, on from time to time. In a oh, second. I would, I would do I a would road trip just here, to yeah. do this. 
Let's uh, Scorch talks about the PFG TV network, and Scorch and Nick do a little two man comedy, <laughs> a little two man back and forth. Oh good. man, welcome yeah, to Scorch's PFG TV to all of the viewers in the whole PFG TV network. See, we can't even say this station or this station anymore because we're. I love that he has no <laughs> idea that this is not working. He he's not faking this. this. No, in his not. mind, he is as big as fucking Conan O'Brien, it's and fucking happening, and Leto, and the rest of them. And he's like, look. This is too big for me to even name right. the affiliates anymore. Living the dream. We're they all just, said it wouldn't happen. We're just nationwide. Uh, this my guy, own late night TV show. This guy wants to explain retro TV just so we have uh, the, the full picture. Uh, Vinny. Hello, boys. What's up? Uh, basically, when all of the TV channels went digital, they got extra channels. They have the regular channel, and then they got like an extra channel because they could fit more stuff into the bandwidth. And Retro TV and a couple of other companies offer shows literally just to fill that channel. So the only way um, you can actually get Retro TV is if you don't have a cable box and if you have a converter for the rabbit ears, correct? Well, there's a handful of uh, there's a handful of cable companies that will carry like one or two of them. My local one carries Retro TV for my local channel, but yeah, pretty much. You have to not have cable. Not get this you can't yeah. get this with cable? <laughs> no, you have to have like the converter Those... box for the rabbit ears. Oh, right. my. The digital God. converter. <laughs> it gets worse. For your rabbit ears. So technically, he's on more markets, but the only way you can get it is if you don't have cable. Okay, so that's it right there. RTV. You'd have to disconnect your cable to right. receive the program. And it hook it up. It gets worse. Like a lot of people would say... Most 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 of the time you'd say I have to get cable in order to get this, but you'd actually have to take it away <laughs> in order to get this show. Well, it's worth it. It's it's PFG TV. Can FiOS get it? No, 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 no. You're you're all mixed up. You'd have to you'd have to have the FiOS guy come in and actually take out the FiOS <laughs> and then replace it with nothing, <laughs> and then you could get it. Yeah, sorry, I said there's a remote chance you might have one or two. I'm I'm looking at the uh, the affiliate list for <laughs> Retro TV. Yeah. Guys, there's we're in luck. There is wow. an affiliate. Li- uh, there's an affiliate for our area. Really? Thank it's, God. Yes, it's WKOB DT. Oh, I watched that anyway. Yeah, it's RF Channel Two, <laughs> Virtual RF. Virtual Channel Forty Two, or Digital Channel Forty Three Point One. But you have to disconnect. I don't your know. Cable. What you'd have to. I need a Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> you'd have to have a TV that gets channel forty three point one. And, and <laughs> it's a radio. <laughs> and how do I get RF Channel Two? Yeah, you'd have to have a switch. Just when you thought it couldn't get worse. In order to get RTV, you need to go out uh, and buy a a roll of official RTV tinfoil to wrap around your antenna. What? What, You broke up. Yeah, your phone stinks. You broke up, dude. What? All right, I'll try another joke. (laughs) (laughs) Why don't you try one first? (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) Buy another. (laughs) Yeah, you tell any more jokes, you're going to get the Stinkaroo Trophy. God, we got to know when he does oh, these tapings, shit. so maybe some of our listeners can Tuesday. check it out. Tuesday. Tuesday's at 7 p.m. At where? They have, they have a Mike's bar. Oh, all, right. all right, Vinny. Thank <laughs> you. I'm attempting to all find right. the, the, the lineup, by like the actual program. Yeah, yeah, here it yeah, is. Yeah, look at it. It's paid. <laughs> it's a lot of paid programming. <laughs> it's just a whole fucking schedule what's that t- says when paid When is this show supposed to be on? Like, what's it, day? There is no listing for when it's actually on television anymore. Because it says paid programming. If you go to pfg-tv.com, you can figure out when the tapings are, so you can head down with your loved ones, get a free app. All right. Why is there well, a fucking uh, dash in it? It couldn't just be pfg-tv. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, that's probably taken by the other pfg-tv. It's such I a love the other shows name. that are on. Uh, Marcus Welby, I Spy, <laughs> The Bold Ones, Emergency, Adam 12, Dragnet, The Incredible Hulk, Knight Rider, uh, 18, Magnum P.I., Simon and Simon, and The Rockford Files. Th- this is a, this is a paper torn from a 1976 TV guy. What sure. channel is this on Cablevision? It's the channel. Oh, I don't think Cablevision or Fios uh, carries uh, this channel. You mean I'd have to disconnect my cable? This is the shit that, like, fucking TV Land said, ugh. Yeah. We ain't even playing this <laughs> no, shit. No, thank you. Nobody would Adam watch Adam 12, it. Marcus Welby. MD. Leave it to me. Daniel Boone. <laughs> Peter Gunn. Robin Hood, the TV show from fucking forever ago. Black Sheep Squadron. Uh, Baba Black Sheep was good. 
But Black Sheep Squadron wasn't. That's what happens when you prank call a sheep. <laughs> you go, Baba Black Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think we've given Scorch enough free plugs. <laughs> all right, let's get, oh, God, let's get into this. Let's, all right, here, here's, another, here's another clip from, from PFG TV with Scorch, our old pal. Oh, man, welcome to Scorch's PFG TV, to all of the viewers in the whole PFG TV network. See, we can't even say this station or this station no. anymore because we're growing each and every week. So now no. it is just a Scorch's PFG TV network. Yeah! Oh, it's recorded, the applause. <laughs> Yeah. My God, what an interesting uh, interesting week. Everybody, I, I talked to Nick a little while ago because everybody at the radio station is getting all nauseous and sick. I was out for a few days. And Why, was he Brock screening was this sick. program? <laughs> <laughs> I, too, am getting phlegmy. I am <laughs> getting phlegmy. <laughs> it's all because of you guys, man. And Nick, well, we haven't made out, though, in a long time. So no, you can't we all use the same that. microphone. And I, I want to address the uh, the theft that went on here at Michael's Pub over the last week. Well, Apparently somebody uh, broke in that? and stole the freaking phone. Stole, stole the audience. <laughs> stole the crowd. Someone stole the audience. Someone stole any dignity that was in the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? It's not good. Well, the last week, well, apparently I, somebody broke in and stole the freaking flat screen. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, our, uh, yeah. Just so the people know, if you took our monitor from behind us, you scumbags, we need it back, please. If Someone you return it, there'll it. be no questions asked whatsoever. Well, well, the owner he sold it to it, fucking yeah. pay the electric bill. Listen, or something. but wait, before you start it again, go oh. back a little because that was a setup for a joke. Oh, oh and I don't. Shit. I mean, this oh, is the two man no. comedy. All right. So, all right. All right. Look our right. monitor from behind us, you scumbags. We need it back, please. If you return it, there will be no questions asked whatsoever. Well, we'll ask a few questions. <laughs> well, you're going to ask if they've... <laughs> Come on. Let's be honest, but I'm going to ask, like, you know, what the hell, man? Why'd you take my TV, man? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> wow. How do you... How do you have nothing planned? <laughs> What the hell, man? Why'd you take my TV? Know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna know what I mean. It's like someone should sit him down and go, look, I know that you think that you're going to mention a concept and something funny is going to show up. Yeah. But uh, it's been proven that that's not going to happen. Think before you talk. Write a few thoughts down. Know what what I mean? mean? Create me. a funny question. Me. Something. Well, there's going to be some questions asked. Okay. Ball's in your court. Some guys hey, are, where's my TV? Some guys are improv guys. Like they just yeah, prefer yeah, to kind of go right. out there that's and just kind of right. wing it and they you know. You tell them, Sam. Jesus Christ. That's where Scorch and Nick are just kind of an improv pair. I love, Criminy. I love your loyalty to this guy that gave you your first break. Yeah. yeah. The thing about that's Scorch terrific. is everything I know about radio I learned from Scorch. That's right. Oh, cool. Everything. And this is how you pay him back. Uh, weird news begins. Weird news. A bad edit dun, cuts dun, off dun, the dun, laugh track. Dun, 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 you know this song. Weird news. Yes, yeah, I mean, whoever's editing Scorch's program. And by the way, I believe that the uh, applause oh, no. and stuff, yeah. it's not done with a sound machine in how it's They're done edited in later yeah in post right um and so now in weird news i guess they had to cut for time or maybe they were awkward in it because they were oh. they just cut in between every joke and so they added a laugh track and then cut it off so they could all right, all right let's listen to this we have a whole busy show today so why don't we get into things with our very first segment that we call weird news okay on some rain, so it is that a very strange Weird news. Come on. Yeah. Newport Beach, California, an off-duty police officer was arrested after he allegedly showed up to a massage parlor wearing his badge and gun and loudly demanding a, and I quote, frontal massage. <laughs> when the girls in the parlor... Ref- <laughs> What is he doing? Was he doing a Letterman laugh there? Like a <laughs> I just love Jimmy's face. Actually, I believe Scorch started doing that on the air before before Letterman. Yes. Oh, okay. I should have known. I, that. I mean, him and Dave borrow from each other. You know, they, they really throw bits do. back and forth. You can barely tell the difference between shows. You know, guys. Uh, P E K twenty eight on Twitter is right. Scorch is blowing up. You guys are just jealous of his one hundred and fifty five Twitter followers. That you, is true. You right. see his audience, right, some man. of them showed up. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Logan Photo Studios, yes. Is that his mom that showed up for the tape? Yeah, maybe. She does live in the area. Girls in the parlor refused to give it to him. Uh, he destroyed some furniture, then he stormed off in his car, uh, his police car, <laughs> which is stupid move number two. Uh, and how did he get caught? A, because he was in his police car. And remember I said he was wearing a uh, his gun in his badge? Yes. That's all he had on. 
This guy had his badge pinned to his chest and he had his gun around his waist. Took me to Illinois. No, he didn't. Did you hear the crowd start laughing though? <laughs> It's fucking mind boggling. Hey, 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 <laughs> yes, that's why real, we do this, this. This is it's either the worst show I've ever heard or the greatest thing ever brought to a television screen I that no one can get. <laughs> no, it's either the worst thing anyone's ever done or whatever would be one level below that. <laughs> 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 we hear that laugh again. Weird one. news. Yeah, let me hear the the his did joke. It, did it, did it, did it. Into the laugh. Yeah, that song is great. Into Bryce the said laugh. He was wearing a uh, his gun in his badge. Yes. That's all he had on. <laughs> this guy had his badge pinned to his chest, and he had his gun around his waist. Took me to Illinois. It's the Rupert Pupkin fucking laughing. It's like getting, when he's down in his basement. Mm-hmm. The problem is that the PFG TV seems to be getting more and more into Rupert Pumpkin area. Yeah, like, you think it started there and then kind of no. Now with this, th- those are canned laughs from like an old '50s sitcom. But was he going for a joke? Marcus yes. Welby with the badge. Or yes, he was. All he had was a badge. I believe. He, I believe oh, he yeah, made that up. That was his humorous. That's anecdote. not the story. He made that noise. <laughs> Did you hear that? Like, like the laugh, like to lead everybody along. <laughs> <watch. laughs> Exactly. And you also have to realize that he is pausing after his jokes because he knows he's going to add a laugh track later. Oh, okay. All right. Let's hear that just so we can get... I, I'm fascinated with the uh, editing process. Wearing a, uh, his gun in his badge. Yes. That's all he had on. <laughs> this guy had his badge pinned to his chest and he had his gun around his waist. Let me to Illinois. <laughs> you hear like an... Some yeah. girl is screaming. Oh, She's shit. laughing so hard in the but background. They had to cut it quick to get to the next story. Yeah, yeah, but they they all shut up real real fast. Any cancer kids this week? Not this week. No. You mean a cancer kid that he uh, said was a growth on his back? Yeah, yeah. Real nice scorch. The greatest scorch line ever. <laughs> My name is Rupert Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, more weird news. Finally, in Middleton, Massachusetts, a robber had an ironic end to a recent burglary. This is a great story. 23-year-old Eric Holman allegedly tried to rob the J.C. Grill and Convenience Store. What happened? Uh, Eric, if you're watching this show... You are an idiot! <laughs> <laughs> he, loves you. he tried to leave the store. This 55-year-old guy tripped oh my God. him with his wooden leg, right? <laughs> oh, my God. And then he held the guy down on the ground till the cops arrived. Uh, it's funny. The, the older the guy had a very good sense of humor about everything. When the cops showed up, they said, what are you laughing at? And he said, now this guy, just like me, doesn't have a leg to stand on. So there you go. And that, my friends, is today's installment of Weird News. Thank you very much. I, I like how the, they, they laughed midway through. Yeah, they yeah. left the setup. Yeah, the, the, you setup. Are, the You Are an Idiot song. Well, they were laughing at the You Are an Idiot song, which is yeah, a yeah. scorch favorite you have any idea how often he played that song on the radio Sam, really a it's lot a, it's All a the staple time. he Is loves it a it. benchmark it's a benchmark he it's a scorch it. benchmark the the way that the audience like just started cracking up at right at the end of that song right not as it was playing and it was also he knew in his head like i'm sure he wrote that he's going to add that in post because yeah. he looked at the camera and it was ready immediately for the you are the you are an idiot right song. right and then boom the audience picks up good thing there's two tracks for sound effects <laughs> <laughs> so now does he have the radio show oh yeah he's rocking afternoons in manchester what time is he doing <laughs> three to seven what does he do well he does a brain cell stimulator <laughs> <laughs> Which I again, can't. I can't take anything seriously. That this that's another that's another benchmark, that's which he's been fantastic. doing since the morning days in Syracuse. Yeah, mornings in Syracuse. So, um, so he's been moving up in the radio world. Well, I mean, yeah, Syracuse, like, New Hampshire. Weird t- news. Technically, down. Take it out of my head. And yeah. plus, he went from mornings to afternoon. Like you guys, what, you guys are afternoons and then mornings. He did the reverse and went slightly lower. In terms of markets. Steven S. from Bayshore makes a very valid okay. point ah. on the instant feedback. Yes, we still have the instant feedback. Uh, hey, Ope, how can you mock? Scorch's show is the lead-in for Nanny and the Professor. <laughs> 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 Nanny and the Professor. 
Uh, Steve's in a great mood today. I don't know why, but Steve S. from, from Bayshore, just in a great, great mood today. It must be a special day. You wrote, know what I mean? <laughs> he wrote that with a boner. Oh, of course he did. He's got a boner all day yes, today. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, Scorch and Nick interrupt the sponsor break for a little more improv comedy. Oh. Two-man comedy. I Ooh. love the way they work off of each other. Because, you know, the sponsor break is when Scorch, because... At Scor- Scorch doesn't take commercial breaks because his sponsors are like part of the family. Right, so it's not a commercial break. No, and yeah. it's also because it's paid programming, so there wouldn't be any commercial breaks. Here Why come, would there be? It couldn't be. Here comes the comedy in three, two, <laughs> a one. I love it is what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Feel free to cheer. <laughs> Listen to the I have clapping. an itch tonight. Is it a I constant have, itch? I have an itchy eyebrow. What does so, that mean? Uh, dry skin. You need some kind of solve. Solve? Did yeah. you say solve? I said solve. I'm talking bloomers. You asked me how old I am, and you said solve? <laughs> All right. I meant and to is, say, and I the meant to say pain reducing cream. Isn't the word solve? Yeah, well, okay, whatever. <laughs> curve, curve, whatever. Solve. Hey, Granny, you got some of that solve? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. We're doing a sponsor break. Sorry. Sorry, paying sponsors. Auburn Pitts. Let's hear it for Auburn Pitts. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's, it's just, this is something. This is like watching Eraserhead. <laughs> it really is. I can't quite yes, wrap my ra- mind around it. If Eraser was dick. <laughs> <laughs> I. I can't get uh, over the fact that he has no fucking clue that none of this is working. And what's great is that no, like, no. what is the that's the brilliance of this whole thing. This thing has no. become more and more of a scam because he does less and less stuff that's associated with actual show content and more and more that's just sponsored. Yeah. Wow. Should we take the Bob Wives? Yeah. In twenty minutes? Yeah. Right. The show did fucking uh, Two and a half million people last night. I, think. I didn't watch the show though. So I didn't either. I but feel... is this Sammy the Bull's daughter? Yeah. Would All I heard was right, uh, we'll do that a it's very yeah, people man. are very some Staten Islanders were very insulted. Okay, we'll figure something very out. Very insulted. We're not prepared to have the mob wives in, but we'll, yeah. we'll do something. We'll take them and we'll be nice to them. Yeah, the yeah, show's though. big, so show them Apple TV. Did big numbers yeah. with VH1. I'm a load of shit. Fucking yeah. picture. <laughs> that Tell Ron we'll do the mob wives. We'll finish the show up with those uh, those bruds. Yeah, but right now, Scorch, PFG TV. Scorch interviews someone from uh, Loca Photo. Yeah, it's a, it's a Loca Loca Photo. Loca Photo. Oh, that, I, that's the who took this picture uh, that we're looking at on Apple TV of uh, his uh, <laughs> studio audience. Six per- his studio slash pub audience. Right. Yeah, she's a, a sponsor. And I guess she paid enough to get an interview on the show. <laughs> and, How the but fuck? The reason I pulled this is not because it's not an interesting clip. But you have to listen closely because you can hear the few people in the bar just milling about and talking. Well, why aren't they the, uh, paying uh, attention and ready to applaud so loudly like they have been in, in the past? And the visual that goes along with this is Scorch. For some reason, they left the full body shot of Scorch on as opposed to switching to a different camera angle. And you can see his hand waving people saying, stop, stop talking, stop talking. We can <laughs> no <idiot> talking. fucking <laughs> way. Yeah. Are you kidding yeah. me? You know what? That's though? fantastic. I went to a Jimmy Fallon taping once, and then we were fortunate enough to be on the show. And and Jimmy does the same stuff. Does he? Yeah, I mean, I people are talking to the audience, and you see him like trying to hush the people down. Does he do it in a pub <laughs> with exactly. six people in it, with or six... is it when Lauren Michaels is getting him De Niro? Who's about <laughs> <to talk? laughs> is it when Jimmy's interviewing the Love fucking the lady photo. who takes the pictures? All I'm saying is, <laughs> not only Scorch this happens to him. How much Scorch is the, uh, the big night again? Uh, Scorch the innovator. How much did De Niro nice. have to pay for his sponsor break? Yes, exactly. his sponsor break. What did what did Scorch do? Put looks. We'll look at somebody with a clit and a Polaroid camera. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about Loca Photo because. Uh, yeah. I love, yeah. as we said before, I love what you do. You are, you, you, you've taken photography and you've made just everything you touch, uh, seems to make like beautiful, just beautiful work. What, uh, why photography? How long, like, what brought you into the world? <laughs> oh my God. He can't even fucking. 
you can't. What is he doing? He's stumbling. There's, there's, She's there's, a photographer. There's no one Wait. that can really make photography better. What it, photography? It's just become it, its own thing at this point. We all have phones that just take great pictures now. But he's not asking Annie Leibovitz a question about uh, shooting uh, the uh, queen uh, without her uh, fucking uh, hat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you stammering idiot. Some fucking lady who's probably named like Dolores. Let's Why the uh, great, uh, the, the, the uh, you take a picture of the work, the yeah. blah, blah, blah. Everything you touch, you make me beautiful. Why the, uh, if it's a pick <laughs> I'm, star, I'm starstruck. <laughs> so are we going to yeah, see I him wave off? I can't yeah. believe I'm talking to you. It's just amazing. You're the, like, number one photography <laughs> girl right. adventure. He talks like fucking Rocky too when he was doing the fucking read <laughs> for the commercials. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, I can't okay, believe. now what watch, a big get for watch the show. His right hand. Okay. Look at Penny Marshall. He's interviewing. Uh, See, look at the, no, look at the microphone Marshall too. On my couch, but uh, it's not because she. Uh, <laughs> just what the fuck? Can we hear that question again. Uh, yeah. Seems to make like beautiful, just beautiful work. What? Uh, why photography? How long? Like, what brought you into the world of photography? Well, um, as I was a little girl, I always enjoy going, you know, whenever I go to my aunt's house, I would always grab the album, and it was such a thrill to go through the pictures, and I really enjoy it. Holy it's one of the, shit. Uh, did you hear the voices? It's one of the yeah, Mondo, yeah, yeah. Mondo topless girls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But what a horrible question, and, 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 and remarkably, an even worse answer. Yeah. I, I'd look, like look, 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 to go through my... <laughs> Oh, like, he's starting away. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, 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 keep, keep, hey, keep quiet. Me, put me down. This is my, uh, quiet in the corner. This is my exclusive camera. interview with the uh, the camera girl. Uh, keep my, it quiet. My aunt's photo album. <laughs> I, would, well, I grabbed her album. When As they a fled. little girl, my uncle would take the photos of me <laughs> without any of my uh, clothes on. I took look at my aunt's photo album, and we saw when everybody was fleeing the Nazis. <laughs> That's all you got on this? I want to hear this whole interview now. Oh, God. Because like, all they're the, doing the, is talking about photography. The thing about PFG TV right is there. Sure, like on, a, on my Kodak 110 with the flash bar. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do a nostalgia show someday. Uh, what, makes, what, what makes a good photographer? Well, um, equipment does, right? Well, hold this and tell equipment me. Equipment to what shotgun. Do you think? Is this your regular <laughs> point shoot camera? Well, no, but uh, I like it because I can see myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the well, audience. Well, you have to have this. Yeah, that's the real audience. <laughs> Wow, that was a little extreme. Please do not develop any Pause of those. I'm surprised it's still in one Delicious. piece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is <laughs> going on? Nick just said, please do not develop any of those. As if he was holding a film camera. A film camera, first of all. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean secondly, to step on Nick's gem. <laughs> secondly, he didn't even take pictures. He was going with his mouth. And the last one he did, he pointed toward his crotch. Where was the guffaws, the laughter from the audience that was laughing at everything earlier? This was more of a subtle, subtle humor type of deal. Uh, Can oh I say God. honestly, <laughs> I that it could be the worst clip I've ever seen on television. <laughs> just that one little <laughs> bit. <laughs> it was just devoid of anything. Can we please play that again? I'm begging. Yeah, yeah, I gotta hear that. It was so. Horrible. I like it because I can see myself. She, Here's a good she gives him I the really camera. Enjoy it. So he plays with um, it. seven to eight years ago, I started doing some photography for my husband. It's he was a in a shit. band. And um, I was just doing freebies at a time, and I upgraded gears, and I'm pretty uh, geared up right now. So. Nice. Good for you. <laughs> now, here's a good question, okay? Honestly, Fine, think right. about this. Uh-oh. What makes... You know what makes a photographer a photographer? Because honestly, I couldn't take even. I couldn't take that. That's a good question. You promised. (laughs) We got ripped off. What makes a photographer a photographer? You chipped us. I'm a good question. What makes a mechanic a mechanic? Well, Well, by the way, you guys are prepared for the mob wives. Yeah. Maybe when they come in. So what makes? A mob wife, a mob wife. A mob wife, a mob wife. The mm-hmm. fuck? What makes a photographer? I don't know. When you, when you look at something and you see it, that makes you have eyes. Yeah, if you have a yeah, camera, you're a photographer. Yeah. And she's not a good photographer. She's stuck in Manchester. That's not where the good photographers are hanging no. out. She's so good that she's she's doing gigs for sports. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Go nah, back. Yeah, always yeah, like tiny yeah. little audience. It's tough because a little is a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Just Kodak 110 with the flash oh, bar. Yeah. <laughs> we got to do a nostalgia show someday. <laughs> uh, what makes what what makes a good photographer? Well, um, equipment does, right? Well, hold this and tell me. What do you think? Is this your regular 
point shoot camera? Well, no, but uh, I like it because I can see myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you have to have the. <laughs> Wow, that was a little extreme. Please do not develop any of those. I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The lunch is like, shh. You know what? I'm going to answer your question for you. I think it's the eye. I think it's the eye has everything to do with it. The eye definitely And the camera has hasn't turned towards hand. him at all. A steady hand. No. But exactly. you also have you to know what shoulder. is good subject matter, right? You have Next to know your, That's the eye. Your, your thing. I mean, I do my, my work a steady online. Hand. I, I keep myself uh, in touch it's with the world. It's insightful. But I have to upgrade gears every well, once in a while, in so we do. It's like RBI I mean, right now. This is now, a Ron twenty-five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> right. As Dude. long as I like, I was like, yeah, with a steady hand. Yeah. You don't want shaky pictures, blurry. <laughs> the best is all you see is Nick's fucking dumb <laughs> hush puppy sticking in. <laughs> they refused to put him in the shot. No. Scorch terrible. probably requested that Nick not be in the what, shot. What all they had to do is move the camera uh, because there's there's no too eat. much room uh, uh, yeah. to the left of Scorch that has nothing in frame. No, no. I, I want to be uh, it's a solo one-on-one interview. I, I'd rather not have uh, Nick in the shot. <laughs> I want the two shot. Well, all right, well, you can put his shoulder in. She's not riveting. Oh, no. wow. She, she looks like the bassist from the way out. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what makes a photographer a photographer? She said, look, it's a camera. Look, a and camera. she handed him a camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, steady hand, I would say. So a finger so you can press the button? Yeah. Does that make it? Need a flash. You get dark. Need a flash if it's dark out. I know all the things about photography. Tripod. <laughs> tripod for those Let's shots uh, where you need a, a tripod. Steady hand or tripod. <laughs> we got a few more clips before the mob wives come in. So uh, we got Scorch talking about how great his new venue is, which is this crappy bar. Yeah, you know, you said that he always tends to look on the positive. Oh, boy, does he. he pra- we can th- learn from Scorch as I th- far as looking at the positive. I think oh, yeah. Scorch is one of those guys who practices is the secret and power positive thinking uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that yeah, and yeah, puts yeah. himself where he wants he visualized himself in this pub oh yeah you're a right. bad if something bad happens he doesn't even see it that way nothing bad turns ever it around it's good uh, before we get into our next segment, I want to talk about where we taped the show now. This is the living room. We felt so genericized, if you can use that word. Everything was so generic and is sterile. It? Okay. You know what I mean? Everything was so, you know what I mean? I mean, the TV studios were nice, mind you. I'm not going to say the TV studios weren't nice. But you know what? We came into this place. We taped at Michael's Pub. It's on uh, 113 in Tingsboro, Massachusetts. Tingsboro. It's 147 yeah. Frost uh, Road. Television City. Uh, Michael's yeah. Pub actually. <laughs> We set aside a special Beautiful place just for Burbank. us, and this is what we call it's 3A. Excuse it's 3A, me, excuse me, my bad, my bad. See, it's a bar. I'm allowed to drink when I tape the show now. Uh, but <laughs> what's on 113? Then am I taping another show there? No, no, no. 113 God, please, no. is probably that bar you don't remember DJing at. Oh, know. okay. <laughs> Michael's Pub gave us this beautiful living room. And even in the middle of the summer when the fire is going and I'm schwitzing like an SOB, uh, you know what? It's still going to be a beautiful place. (laughs) They didn't give him a living room. They just moved some tables. It's not a living room. (laughs) He's facing the bar. bar. (laughs) It's a bar. There are probably normally just tables there and and chairs. Let me put up the picture again. And, 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 like, there's a bar... Six feet from his face, oh God, just... and they gave him this beautiful living room. It's Look, like, that's the most. <laughs> There's no living room there. It's got a fireplace. You can see they just pushed some tables aside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Boy, he's showing us how to spin. Uh, wow. Scorch introduces a new segment. Yeah. The app. The appetizer. By the way, most, most people would think, oh, maybe he's going to be talking about different iPhone apps. Right. He just talks about his app. Oh, the in one this that segment. has, what, 500,000? Well, you want to talk about a spin? Oh, okay. There's been a few more downloads since oh, we last night. Oh, good. And God, we couldn't I find any. We count. couldn't find any proof that anyone has actually ever downloaded. This no, app. yes. Well, there is proof that at least three Anthony Sam Travis have right. downloaded. Three people have downloaded uh, his app. Now, uh, you know what I want to do? I want to do this segment that we call the app. The Tizer. Because Scorch's PFG DVD, we've made it Whoa, into the future. We have a phone app now that, as of this taping of this show, has been downloaded 741,232 times. <laughs> huh? What? He's got the exact number. Go on. Over 700,000 times. But he's got the exact, like, to, to the two. To the number. Holy yeah. Not, not to the ten, not to the hundred, to the single number. 
He yeah, just like, got the statistics before they went to shoot. One more person downloaded it right before they went on air, and he's like, to put it, make, come on, make that a two. It'll be accurate. Turn it into a two. Now, on the appetizer, we've got a lot of cool things. For instance, we have the show. You know, Danny. I have a question. I, yeah. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> your app should be accurate to your Twitter at the very well, I mean, least. Should be, what do you mean? Th- you should be able to see some metrics. Yeah, of <laughs> right, course. Right, right, right. <laughs> the numbers himself. don't lie. Yeah, let's How many see. followers does he have? Uh, Scorch. And this is at Scorch. Well, who's going to get more now? So uh, at Scorch PFG. Pretty fucking good. <laughs> He's got about 155 followers. All right. So about or exactly? Exactly 155 oh. followers. So okay. 155 followers uh, on uh, Twitter, Twitter, yet 700,000 plus. Well, he's not a Twitter guy. He's a TV downloads. app guy. That is true. And he's too busy taping these shows to be honest. All with right. Fair he's enough. like an app guy. We have the weekly show that we tape, and you see it. Uh, it's on the appetizer. Now, uh, it's on the app itself, I mean. Now, if you if you already have the app, uh, erase it. everyone does. Redownload it and read Register, what? because now we have uh, alerts, and you can actually get alerts. So we'll be telling you certain things. For instance, we'll say for the next five people that come out to the TV tape, we want to give you a free dinner at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro, something like that. You know what I mean? Tingsboro, yeah, uh, Tingsboro. <laughs> yeah, right. you get a free app at Michael's Pub in Tingsboro. Know what I mean? He is amazing. Well, we have two more clips. But we have mob wives. What do we do? Do mob wives wow. then go back to the clips? Or you could just do the two clips, then they'll come in and boom. What an hour. And boom. Scorch uh, talks here? about the app in the pub crawl. The scam is made clear. What do you mean the scam is made clear? Well, you know how the pub, you know how Scorch always has an ulterior motive? Yeah. And the ulterior motive is usually to scam people out of some cash and yeah. not give any to Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just assuming. But it's pretty safe assumption. You've seen it before. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, he lets the cat out of the bag. That the pub crawl is not a is not a charity thing. Now that it's associated with the app. Uh, also on the app now, we've got the uh, we've got a fun and games section. You know oh. what I mean? Where you, know you can mean? actually go on and play certain games like online beer pong. Nice, which is nice. You know what I mean? Angry viewer. Uh, yeah. Also, <laughs> we've got PFG Radio. Now PFG Radio. This is the kicker right here. Bands that get on the pub crawl. You buy onto the pub crawl, you support yourselves and invest in yourselves, you support us. It's only 10 bucks a week, you get on for at least two months, you get some tunes on PFG Radio. I'll tell you, we're adding three bands by the time this show airs. There's going to be three more bands on PFG Radio. Uh, yeah, literally, that's, that's picking up nice. Uh, so, and, and mind you, you know, not to like try to encourage you or try to like, uh, you know, sway you one way or the other, but bands that get involved in this for PFG radio, we work in radio and television. Do you know how many industry type people are at PFG, at the, at the app, checking out PFG radio? So you never oh know who can God. see and hear about your stuff, you know what I mean? So... But I have to add, <laughs> industry people. He believes all this. Does he really? Yes. He also. Yes. He funny. He just threw a few numbers out there. He said ten dollars a week. You get on for two months. But that means he charges them ten dollars a week for two months. So for two there's months. Minimum, there's a minimum buy. It's an eighty dollar. It's buy for eighty dollars to get on the pub crawl. This guy loves trying Scamming. to get money out. He of loves it. nickel and diamond. And people. then he tells people that they're investing in themselves because industry people have the PFG app Do you and know are listening how many to many industry people. Sam, put, up, put up a picture of all those industry people in that book. Okay. Do you know how many <laughs> industry people I actually, download the app? I want to try to figure out which uh, person is the industry person. A few person. industry people went down to check out the taping. We'll just throw it up on Apple TV right now, and then there they are. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? They're right there. It's the two in the front because yeah. those are the older, usually older people are in charge yeah, of, they're the of industry those industry people. people. So it's probably the gray-haired uh, women sitting down in the front. With All a free right. appetizer. We have one more clip. Scorch brings on a wrestling historian, oh and they promote their revolutionary new concept. This is big for PFG. This is it. The last one for today. Scorch and PFG TV. Now, we were talking about Sheldon the outdoor Goldberg. thing, and we're going to jump right into it. Okay. Uh, Michael's Pub, just like Auburn Pitts, because we're going to do it both places. Right. Uh, myself and Sheldon, or let's do it this way, Sheldon and me, because he's actually a bigger port- <laughs> part- portion of this, uh, we came up with this concept, and don't try to steal it now, because it's trademarked. Uh, I spent the money to do that. I ain't a fool. He's lying. Uh, no, we're he doing did. a he thing that we're calling Bar Wars. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Uh -oh. And we're going to do a brand new concept. We're going to bring like with that. literally four bout wrestling matches to bars. And we're going to have a, a, like a wrestling match and a drink special and a bar special, a food special. And we're going to bring... Is, yeah. Yeah. Bar Wars. Bar Wars. <laughs> yeah. You and I teamed up here, you know? No so question. It's going to be long overdue for one. Yep. What? 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 Uh, what? <laughs> He's having some wrestlers wrestle in a bar and combining it with drink specials <laughs> to create <laughs> bar wars. Bar wars. Uh, there's already a bar wars. Yeah, it's not his bar wars. Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, but he wars. trademarked it. He paid for it. <laughs> but wait, somebody else has. Yeah, bar but this wars. website has obviously been here since 1996. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> yeah. a bar wars LLC. Oh boy. That means there has to be paperwork. Wars, it's a corporation. Yeah. Oh shit. This website hey. is frames, bitch. I already got that. Wait a minute. Uh, I did trademark. Unfortunately, we got to cut this off because uh, we got the mob oh, watch coming. Oh, yeah. Out. Maybe they watch PFG well, TV. Well, that was a terrific PFG TV. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that is so goddamn too. good. Isn't it great that they're back in, the, in, a, in a bar where they yes, should be? Yes. In the living room, in the bar. A lot of people going, hey, uh, it. Rewind, listen to the applause. It ends abruptly. Ooh. How do you get hundreds of people to stop <laughs> clapping all at once? I know. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, birds of a thunder. feather. Birds of a feather. So, all right. Yeah. We love the Scorch. Uh, no. Scorch mentioned us, Ant. Yes, yeah, Scorch. And, and it's not Scorch. <laughs> and it's not Scorch. No, no. no. We got a, uh, and we got a good hoarding story. Hoarding story. I, I got to hear Scorch. I got to hear the Scorchster. Do we have to explain Scorch again to no. the people? I don't think well, we do. Let me do sure? I'll do it real quick. People. Ugh. There you go. He used well, to work so with Scorch. Explained. Love him. Yes. But he's full of shit like Ian Halpert. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to make everything bigger. He's a Scorch hype really machine. Is. He really is. He's a hype. He's, he's another a hype self, guy. Self-hype machine. Sure. And last we left you, he's doing his PFG TV. Which is a... Uh, which he has to kind of pay for. And yeah. It's, it's sad. It's, it's like a public access show. It's not it was, sad if you're Scorch because he <laughs> believes he's in millions of homes. And, and well, he might be in millions of homes technically, but he believes I don't know. millions of people are watching him every week. I like the uh, the uh, fake <clears throat> applause. That's my favorite part now of watching any of his programs, is the fake uh, massive applause yeah. when he uh, tells a joke or walks out on stage. Well, he interrupts his segment on many homes. Wait, Scorch interrupts talking about how many homes he's in. Oh, okay. Oh, Once again, oh. bragging about how many homes his TV show is in to mm -hmm. say hi to the ONA fans. Ah. Now, it's weird. When a big personality mentions our names, Yeah. I can't tell you how fast the tweets come in. Oh, it's Holy crazy. shit, dude. I got to tell you, dude. Blah, blah, blah. Not one person told me. I don't think I And uh, he's yeah. such a big personality. I'm very surprised at this. Very surprised. I mean, fucking Sam had to dig this out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Scorch. If you live in Pensacola, Florida, only, just so you know. And right now, the network's not on in Pensacola, Florida, but on a side note, we're on all over the place, like 8 million homes or something. So, uh, you know, give it up for the PFG Network. <laughs> and let's say hi to the Opie and Anthony fans who watch it, too. Hey, ONA fans, nice to have you here. Thanks for tuning in and checking out the show. Give it up for ONA. <laughs> there. We'll cross that bridge next time. <laughs> what bridge? Uh, what? What bridge, Scorch? Where is he located? That's hysterical. Um, the PFG Network. <laughs> eight million homes? Eight million homes. Eight million Do you homes. understand? How many he homes does more than Letterman, Letterman and Leno combined? <laughs> yeah. He does more than Letterman and Leno combined. Damn, that's pretty impressive. Why isn't that news? Yeah, I would think that would be on the news. He's somewhere. in more homes mm -hmm. than the Tonight Show and Letterman combined. And why are you doing yeah. stuff for Leno when you could be doing stuff for Scorch? Scorch is—I well, uh, don't know—he's in Newton Manch, Vegas. You could be in front of a lot more people. You hear the applause? There's oh, got to yeah. be eight people in there today. Yeah, yeah. And then he did—he continued a little later in the show. Hey, by the way, did we mention say hi to the Open Anthony fans? Hey, Owen Anthony fans, nice to have you here. Hey, they plug us, uh, good or bad, they plug us on their radio show. Good or bad. Uh, he's, I love how he's good or bad. They play, you know, good or bad. You know, good or bad. We're going to play good or bad later on. In the, good or uh, bad, TV good or show. bad. Spin the wheel of good or bad is what we're going to do. Deuce or good or bad. Deuce or good or bad. Sponsored by fucking fly-by-night camera. Fly-by-night camera. They're not in the digital age, but we still like them. <laughs> <laughs> I get scorched rules. You want to be on our bar crawl? <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at the beautiful set here at the uh, 
We're in the living room, everybody. Living room. <laughs> Look at the fireplace they built for me. Gets fucking uh, 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 canned applause from a college football sure. bowl game. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's the empty God. bowl. <laughs> it's just got me snorting and left so hard. Fucking. Uh, ah, he's delusional, huh? I don't know what's going on there. So, uh, easily 50, 60 times a week. So, you know what? If they. Wow, we mentioned 50 or 60, 50 or Jim, 60 you times hear that? a week. We 50 or 60 hard. times a week. <laughs> That's. <laughs> And you got to understand, I have to say it again. He this. really believes I that. I love this guy. He believes that. He's not it's, even trying to exaggerate. That's no, what he fantastic. believes. it's 50 or 60 times a week, uh, <laughs> we talk about Scorch. It's on their radio show uh, easily 50, 60 times easily. a week. So you know what? If they waste their time talking about us, I could waste a couple minutes talking about them. And you know what? It is a waste. So <laughs> there you go. There's some more fodder for you, boys. Thank you very much. So. <laughs> What's the matter, Scorch? Scorch, what's the matter? <laughs> Look, we can't have fun with your show. <laughs> Look, we we go way back. Go we way know back. we're dicks. We can't help it though. <laughs> we go way back with the Scorchster. <laughs> For you boys, thank you very much. So. You know that Sam, he doesn't he doesn't add to the show nor subtract from the show. He's just such a waste of the show, you know. So. Oh, oh, and man. Yeah, only a couple people in the audience that get is. that. So, hey, listen. Wow, he took a shot at took Sam. a shot at our young Samuel. That's Scorch yes. getting mad right there. Yeah, that was that a very is. accurate fucking wow. uh, by the way analysis of oh, Sam. Oh yeah, I'm not oh, yeah, saying we're not it's not completely accurate, but uh, where wow. is that fucking creep? Please, don't believe he said that. He's somewhere doing nothing. He contributes nothing. He takes away from nothing. I, he's matter and antimatter. He's just there. He, he wasted, he wasted time. Uh, since uh, we could he didn't waste time talking about me, I waste time talking about them. It is a waste of time. <laughs> Kevin from Connecticut did the math. 50 to 60 times a week is about 10 to 15 times a show. <laughs> per show. <laughs> Every day. Did you, uh, Sam? Wow, that's that's now, some outrageous you audio gotta, right there. You got to feel a little bad. This is like, this is almost like uh, Qui Gon beating up on Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, it because is because you were his student. It's true. You were his young Padawan, and uh, and and to have him blast you. Could uh, put you over to the dark side. I realized that he had some kind of like I could see in his facial expression that he used the phrase he, he described me in that way intentionally. Yeah, and it took me like two days to figure out why he said that. Uh huh. And then I realized that's I think how I described Nick, the guy on the couch, on his show. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh really? When, oh, when we were talking about their chemistry, and so I think I mean I also probably deserve. <laughs> that why? Because I haven't said nice things about Scorch. Look, see, you're you're actually feeling a little bad now. Well, I mean, he deserves to take a couple shots at me at this point. You're on, you think? I think you're ungrateful. You are. Yeah. That guy gave you your whole fucking career in radio. Can't wait to hear you what turn you say about us when we leave here. Oh, forget about it. When people I just leave listen here, to they 10 have a lot to say, man. Just listen Brave to 10. Fucks. You know what's fucked up, Opie? Yes. Scorch looks nothing like he did when we knew him. No. I I don't know that guy. But you also got to remember that's. Oh, I realize it's a long ass years time ago. ago. Now. But yeah, he doesn't we look left thirteen years ago. I he think. doesn't look like that anymore either, though. No, like that. No, 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 no. He looks like PFG TV. Now. That's my Scorch. That's your Scorch. Yeah, short bleach blonde hair. This is the, the. Is there any way to get a picture of Scorch circa fucking? 1997. It's hard. Uh, there's 96. There's one where he's kind of in the background of one of your pictures, but I haven't seen. Yeah, I think he buried him or something. I don't know what happened. To he him. Had, I, I'm trying to remember. I think he had long hair, right? Yeah. Yeah, there was like a long hair thing, I guess. And mm. I don't uh, mm. scorch. But I didn't. I didn't think he was accurate about my description of what I do on this show. I don't think I disagree with you, Jim, in saying that that was accurate. No, that's uh, no, no. All due respect. It was a great. Um, I felt it was. It had a very, very true ring to it. <laughs> you did. Because oh you, yeah, you, yeah. You do detract from the show, but then you do add to it. So the the end result is you come up with the sum of zero. So <laughs> just nothing. It's like <laughs> you, as if I shouldn't have even showed up. But you did say that uh, uh, Nick on the couch. 
Yeah. He does I said nothing. He, I think I said that he makes these statements that don't, there's no, like, humor value or they're like, they don't add to the conversation. They're just, they don't take away. They're just right, kind of there. They're just there, these statements. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, guys on Twitter. Yeah. I don't know. Spinozzle, it looks like. You guys made it. Mention on the greatest late night show ever. Well, the most there watched, I gather. There you go. How many? Uh, how many uh, fucking people have downloaded his app uh, at this point? I think last we checked, it was something like six hundred million. Six hundred million. Six hundred million. <laughs> I don't know. I, wow. well, Apple actually ships the iPhone with it pre-installed. Oh, yeah. it pre-installed. Yeah. Pre-installed now. Yeah, and it's Android too. That's great. <laughs> I can't believe, I mean, my name was mentioned on there. It's one, I mean, uh, that's huge. That's huge exposure. You know Congratulations what? to you, Sam. Thank You're, you. Someone's phone's going to be ringing uh, tonight with offers to uh, go to other places. Specifically Match Vegas. When, when, <laughs> when Scorch uh, mentions you like that. Yeah. With that many viewers, that many people downloading the app. He said something like 750,000. Right, 750,000 So it's got to be It's got to be over homes. a million now yeah. on the app. Eight million in the homes. And you just have to remind yourself, there's no such thing as bad publicity. Well, but when you're dealing with numbers like that. No, no. Sam, I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, with all that exposure and having such a hot show, mm -hmm. does he live like in a mansion? Mm -hmm. I would assume so. I haven't seen the Manch Vegas pad. Um, mm. He didn't have a, like a specific mansion in Syracuse. Last you heard, how was he living? I mean, like... He didn't have, like, the nicest, you know. <laughs> but he didn't have this TV show. Is he just downplaying his, well, he's got the TV his money? Show now, yeah, I think what he does is he wants to kind of relate more to the blue-collar sort of right. You know. Yeah, yeah. So it's not good to actually present yourself in a certain light when you're trying to relate to right. uh, the blue-collar. So he plays it down. Wow, he is actually living the act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, what yeah. it is. I mean, he puts it. Plus, everything's in investments. I'm sure. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Offshore accounts, all that stuff. All that money from the sponsors. From the sponsor breaks, sponsor Ooh. spotlight. Yes. He put money in Endicott Steel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blue horse's ass <laughs> loves Endicott Steel. <laughs> Jesus. He, yeah, I could just picture him crumbling that money up and shoving it in his pocket <laughs> from the camera place and the car dealership. And <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'm going to put this right back into the show. <laughs> Travis and me have been talking all morning about how we're in paradise, that the two main topics on today's show are Ian Halpern and Scorch, which both of us, that's what we have in common. Those are our two favorite oh, people. Oh, well, yeah. That's it for you. Huh? If we can yeah. get Bobo on the show today. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, my God. God. Trifecta. Show of shows. Show the trifecta of shit. <laughs> this would be a perfect show, wouldn't it? I mean, Travis and I would both leave the positions we have here to get smaller positions on Scorch's radio. You couldn't. Oh, yeah. Damn. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> nice for the reality check there, Jimmy. Uh, All right, let's move on. We got to we got to get stuff. some real PFG TV on again soon. Yeah, that is good. Wait, whenever you want, because I was I I just it, picked out the mentions on this one, but I watched a lot of the episode and I could have given you two hours worth of stuff. Can I don't you, doubt it. Can you maybe give us like one clip for tomorrow? You want yeah, yeah. just like a little taste? I, just, a little oh, taste. I want some more. I just need a taste of well, PFG we, TV because we have to talk about them fifty, sixty times, ten, right. fifteen times a day. That's, right. that's tough. It gets hard after a while to do that. Not when it's scorched, it doesn't. And Scorch is up to 750,000 <laughs> app users. You know, uh, our own uh, primetime Sam Roberts uh, played on the on the uh, shit hour. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the shit on hour. On the shit hour yesterday. Well, he is the shit stir, so his show yes. should be called the shit hour. The shit hour. He, uh, he played some of that um, original, uh, I, guess, I guess from years ago when the Oompa Loompas were on Scorch's show. Right. And oh, we, we yeah. did like a simulcast right. thing. We heard that on the way home too. And, and, and one at one point, Scorch is saying like, you know, hey, well, uh, satellite radio, uh, uh, maybe here in January. Well, enough said about that. I won't talk about that. Year that years ago, he was saying he was going to be on satellite radio. Was was he Ramoned? Were they Ramoned? Ramon. Yes. 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 You Ramon them so bad, it was hilarious. Should have been on the regular show yesterday. Uh, that, that bit was really funny. Man. Well, we had the Ramon call f uh, that that was played yesterday. We oh, should replay it. Yeah, we really should. Does this I need like to set that up? One. We could do this in a break. Matter of fact, Oompa Loompas. It's just uh, Scorch was talking to the Oompa Loompas. Oompa Loompas, and we called into Scorch's show to shoot uh, shoot the shit with him. Yeah, to shoot the shit. Now, uh, and then Ramon uh, got on the phone. Yeah. I wasn't sure if uh, he had really been simulcasting. Now, yeah. Sam Roberts was there at the time. He was with lying about Scorch. That. He was lying about it because yeah. we were cursing. And he's like, yeah, it's okay. I don't give a fuck. He was not simulcasting. He was not simulcasting. He was, in a, he was playing songs in commercials. Right. 
Oh. That's when you were working for him before you backstabbed him? Yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. I'm just uh, trying to... All right. Yeah. Gotcha. Your backstab is coming soon. I know. I'm not <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you right now. You backstab me, I'll fucking shoot you. What? Oh, That's where damn, I'm at in my life. Yo. I'm done with damn. backstabbing motherfuckers. You should even if he doesn't. <laughs> I, will, I will shoot you. What if I just backstab a little? Like, I just take yeah, shots here I and will there. fucking shoot you. What if he uh, ass stabs right. you with his tongue and cock? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with pieces of shit that used to work for this show backstabbing. I'll tell you one thing. It was refreshing to actually hear a clip from our show between uh, hey, 10 and 11. Yeah, it doesn't it happen that often. It was refreshing. I uh, usually hear uh, Sam Roberts. Yep. Right. Talking with various members of uh, the staff. We were on with Scorch. He was yeah. talking to Oompa Loompas. So Oompa we decided Loompas. to talk to the Oompa Loompas, real Oompa Loompas. And then uh, Steve from Yellowstone had to get involved in the action. Of course. I, don't, I didn't hear did. this part yesterday. I don't remember I it. Oh, this. my God. This is priceless. This. Really, really good. And when we get back, hopefully we'll announce who's joining this channel. Yes. Because we've wasted a lot of time and we'll Twitter on nonsense. And I, we'll, and, I, and we'll tweet it? Yes. Okay. Do you think we wasted time on nonsense? A lot of nonsense. nonsense. I love nonsense. A lot of nonsense. I got the queewees. Steve, is that Steve? Yeah, we got Steve on the phone. We're uh, national, so we're all over, and this call is coming from Yellowstone. Yes, um, he's a big fan of the movie, so let's uh, let's talk to Steve. See if I can make this work here. Steve, you there? Oh my God! Hello. Hi. Are these are, are these these are these guys really? Are you guys imposters or are you for real? We are for real. We are for real, and you can come and see us in Auburn, New York. You can come and touch us if you like. I am, and I'm just talking to the chicks there. I am actually a very big fan. Um, I, I, oh my God, are you the only two Oompa Loompas, or are there more? There are three guys are still alive. <laughs> And then there's a young girl, and she lives in a twilight home in, in England. Ramon, kill these green-haired little savages. Ramon, bring me a spoiled family photograph. What about the orange man? Ramon, drown these two like the Smith children. <laughs> Hey guys, I got Ramon, bring me a singing piece of shit. <laughs> Are you still alive in Syracuse? <laughs> Steve, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Steve. Okay. I gotta apologize for uh, Steve from Yellowstone. He's very inappropriate, <laughs> yeah. and uh, he is not for broadcast radio with his language. That's right, horrid. <laughs> But I gotta run and do a show and get no ratings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Scorch. <laughs> we'll talk soon, man. 